You're listening to the Potaholics Comedy Network. Potaholics.com. Welcome, everybody, to the Set Up Podcast with Norman, Anthony, and Alan. Hola. Welcome to episode four. Or three. No. Yeah. Four. First one was a two-parter, so it's the fourth episode. Uh, I'm doing this intro on my way to the doctor right about now. About to uh, about to go get my butt checked out, or whatever they do down there. I haven't been to the doctor in, like, I don't even know, six years. But uh, I can thank my lovely wife, who, while I'm out there, you know, Uber driving, podcasting, skating all day, doing stand-up, all, all the things that I do... She's out there working a real job, getting some health insurance. So now I'm about to go in there, have them uh, inspect and explore, see what they can find. Hopefully they see that I am a young, healthy stallion of a dude. But, uh, man, that's something I never used to think about when I was back in my heavy skate days, back when I was front blunting 10 stairs and such. Let's be honest, I've never front blunted a 10 stair. I think the best thing I ever threw down on a hand, I think I five, a front 5 would a 9 stair. That was back when that was mildly impressive. Back when handrails weren't just a ridiculously easy apparatus to do a trick on. Not these days, man. Not these days. Now you can throw down, you could do like a kickflip back lip down Hollywood 13 and all your homies be standing around just, just yawning. Staring at their phones, trying to find some Shane O'Neill clips of him. 360 flip, nose grind, nollie tray out, down a 20 stair handrail. It's all Tony Hawk Pro Skater's fault. Changed everything. I'm sitting here sounding like an old skate curmudgeon. But I digress. We're on episode four. And, uh, you know, a lot of the these first few episodes have been homie podcasts. And we're going to have a lot more of those. But uh, I thought it's about time. Let's get like a true skate head. So I, I decided to hit up, uh, I'm not trying to name drop or anything, but I, I hit up an old friend and uh, let's, let's just disguise his identity. Let's just call him uh, Tony Hoik. So I was like, what's up, Tony? He's like, is this Nolan Culver? I was like, yeah. He's like, I remember you, man. You were the, that dude that was killing it back in the late 2000s and aughts. Fakey healing over trash cans and shit. I'm like, yeah, that's me, man. And he said, I was like, dude, do you know any like true skate heads? I would love to be on my brand new skate podcast with my buddy Alex and my buddy Anthony. He said, dude, I got the guy for you. Next thing I know, we're we're driving down to Costa Mesa, California, to the Element headquarters. We're walking down the halls, the same halls as the likes of the Nigel Houston's, the Evan Smiths have walked the uh, the Bam Margeras is probably he's probably strolled through those halls every once in a while you know comes in he has to pee in everybody's coffee he doesn't want to but he has to because his name's Bam Margera he's got a he's got a reputation to live up to and then all of a sudden we find ourselves sitting across from the Matt Ward the element skateboards team manager the greatest team manager on the planet and I will go to bat for that. Okay, I don't care who you want to bring to the table. Matt's the best. And there's no questions. There's no contest. So we sat down with him for a little while. It was awesome. It's good catching up with him. He's an old, he's an old skate homie from the Richland, uh, Washington area, Eastern Washington. If you're keeping track, came up uh, filming and skating with my little brother Jake. What's up, Jake? And. Uh, so it's going to be a fun one. We had a lot of fun. He's super fun to talk to. He's got a beautiful gargoyle gravelly voice, low. It's a kind gargoyle, though. It's a loving gargoyle. You're about to hear it. If you want to support the Setup Podcast, hop onto iTunes. If you're an old friend and you got a second, hop onto iTunes. Look up the Setup Podcast. I think if you look up the pod, because uh, we're with the Podaholics Network now. If you look up Podaholics, where it might be easier to find under their little network thing, but just search Setup Podcast in the iTunes, in the tunes, and rate, subscribe, rate us, uh, maybe even throw a comment up. It actually really helps, so uh, that can get our visibility up if you're trying to support. If you're a fan of the cast, we'd appreciate it. Um, hop onto YouTube, look up the Setup Podcast on YouTube, subscribe to that. Uh, we put up a little 
you know, we put up all the videos of the podcast and uh, some other skate shit, some other silly stuff. Hop onto patreon.com slash the setup. You can subscribe there or support there or follow. I'm not even sure the word to use, but you can even donate there if you want to donate to keep the cast alive. You can donate whatever is on your heart. Could be a dollar, could be two, could be four thousand dollars. Anything that's just let your it's like church, man. Just let uh, let the Holy Spirit Oh my gosh, actually, whew, I'm feeling it right now. I think the Holy Spirit's speaking to you. Holy mackerel, I'm just a vessel for the Spirit right now. I think the Holy Spirit's telling me to tell you to donate, what is it? $175.35. Yeah. Yep. So donate that. I think that's important. Um, that way you don't spend uh, eternity in everlasting fire. And uh, so thank you for donating that in advance. It's a lot of money, but it's what the Spirit said. And uh, check out the Potaholics website that we're on, on their network. Check out all their podcasts. A lot of good content on there. Check out their YouTube channel, Potaholics, on YouTube. Go on to Facebook slash dot, Facebook.com slash the setup. Like that for us. This is all just support shit, and we appreciate you. Thanks for listening. Let's get into it. Matt Ward. You made all these? You cut all these beautiful boards up? Yeah, and cut and... brand new boards in half. <laughs> oh, man. And if you look at it, I had to cut four boards for each chair. Holy shit. Oh, God. What a, what a sad, sad day. What a, what a ten, painful. 10, 15 chairs, brand new boards all cut up just so we could sit on them. Oh, yeah. It's but, like seeing a dismembered person. Oh, you bring kids in here and they're like, these are cool chairs. And then you're like, yeah, I mean, I know you're hurting for a skateboard. This, this one could have been yours. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. If you can figure out how to sew it back together. Yeah, exactly. I, rem- I remember being young as fuck and seeing That's guys right, boss, see- oh, seeing okay. guys focus Hold skateboards right at the yeah, skate boom. park and be like, bro, I like been skating the same deck Hold for right like right four fucking months, chipped to shit, and you're focusing brand new boards. Like Ed, Ed would be focusing like boards he just bought. I'm like, bro, what well, the f- what's focusing fuck? mean? Stomping it out. Is that what that? It. Yeah. Like breaking it? You've never heard that before? I've never heard the term the focusing it. Yeah. Do you know that term? Oh yeah. Yeah. In, you, should I leave? Well, no, you you do that when you're skating and you're so pissed off that the board's not working, so you focus it to put it back in place. What do you mean by this? Oh, What's happening? Exactly tri- what like, you just said. Are it's you like talking a, about breaking the board? Yeah. yeah. You snap it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's not working the way it is, so okay. you focus it. I just then, call that you, breaking a board. Uh, no, focus, no, it's more? It's there's deeper? Focus it. It's, it's, I mean, everywhere. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. You've never heard that. I've yeah. never heard it. Wow. I used to focus boards all the time when they weren't working. I'd stomp them. I would break the board. That's what we're talking well, yeah, about, yeah, right? Break yeah, the board. focusing them. Yeah. And then you would no longer have the board. <laughs> I, I can say, honestly, I've maybe focused two boards in my lifetime as a skater. Uh-huh. Maybe. Maybe. And that was because I had another setup. It was never... The worst one I ever did. Oh, my God. And I, I've been a guy that's been focused. Like, I know all about focusing, obviously. And it's, you know, it's a term I'm familiar with. And I remember the first time I did it was... Uh, it was, I was, dude, it sucked, man. Oh, I used to have such bitch rage anger, like 16 year old kid <laughs> anger. Carrie gets. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember Bro, seeing Carrie. Carrie like, yeah, gets. Somebody else oh, yeah. does that. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Hockey yeah. temper gets. But I got a brand Holy new shit. board, 775. I think it may have been an element. Who knows? Let's just say it was because we're at an element. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I fucking, it was first day, stomped it. First day, brand new board. Not That's back when you can't afford boards. Yeah. Like, oh. you're 16. I was so mad I stomped it. And then twice as mad that I just stomped it. Because now I can't. Now I'm now skating my skating. old shitty board for at least another month. Ah, oh, that was the worst. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of kids still that do that, and they don't care. So we, we do Because they have money. Well, we do events where we do, uh, like, you can come in and kids can buy a new board. Yeah. And then we take their old board and we'll cut it into a cruiser shape for free. And then oh, give cool. them trucks and wheels and everything for free. So that way the skate shop sells about 50 boards at a time. But then you'll have some of the rich kids come in. And they'll want the brand new board that they just bought cut out into a cruiser shape. Oh, you oh, motherfuckers. So we sit, we sit here and watch this, and we're just like, oh, man, this is rough. Like, the one that really stands out to me is Alex Midler. He'd always come with the skate camp, and he'd always go into the skate shop at the, at the camp there. And he would buy a brand new board, go outside, take a saw, and start chopping it up. And then sanding it down into a fun shape. And then if he didn't like it, he'd go buy a new one and then do it again. Holy shit. This is before, but he, these this were, is these were decks ago. he was buying? Yeah. What the fuck? So Midler was uh, doing all right. His, he he know, came uh, from that type of family. He, he, I mean, he, 
you know, the story always was his, his neighbors was Britney Spears. Oh, uh, right. So it's like he, if you live in that neighborhood, Nuff yeah, said. you do have money. So it's a damaged so. block. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the like, block has problems. Hey, no board is going to be too expensive for that kid, right. so, yeah. which is fine. Hey, we're here yeah. with uh, Matt Ward. Matt. Say hi to the people. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it it's, going? The people are my mom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully your mom, if you could hit her up. <laughs> my parents hate skateboarding. So hey, she has yeah. no idea what a podcast is. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nice thing. You can kind of say anything on these because they're like, parents can't access that technology. You yes. know what I mean? Yeah. It's too new, like, man. Yeah, Absolutely. They don't know what the fuck's happening. Uh, Matt, we're at the Element. What is this? The Element Warehouse? Not really, this right? This is where we... Well, it's. I mean, it's the headquarters. Yeah. So this is where we do... I mean, everything. We design the clothes. We design the graphics. We come out with pretty much everything that anybody sees out in the store. Yeah. Whether it's a logo on a wall or a T-shirt design or the board graphic or who what what pro it is. I mean, we're even going as far as the boards that are on the wall are physically being made here. Yeah. So we do everything here, A to Z. Holy shit. So, okay. you, but you press the boards here? We the only thing I'm not trying to pick apart the A to Z. Thing. No, no, I'm well, just curious. Well, no, nobody really presses. Everybody uses a board manufacturer. You yeah. say PS sticks, Duh. or bareback, or uh, PGI out in China. Yeah. So it's like between those three, you pretty much have everybody in the industry covered. Word. And then from there, we order, we order our normal boards, but then we'll order blanks just so that if somebody wants, you know, it's the same. It's everything. Everything nowadays has to be so custom, right? Yeah. Like if you go through. And order anything nowadays, you can get it custom made. Like, yeah. I mean, come on. You can go on a pizza website, order a thin crust, whatever the hell you yeah, want yeah, it. Yeah. No cheese, no, whatever it is, right? So it's like, why should your skateboard, that graphic that you like, only come in on an eight and a quarter? Sure. Why shouldn't it be on an eight five? Why couldn't you get that graphic on an eight five or an eight inch or a seven seven five or yeah. a pool shape? So it's the that's Burger what King we're trying- generation. Exactly. Have so it's it your like, way. Exactly. We're such little bitches. <laughs> so and I, you know, and I read comments on our Instagram where people are like, "Oh, it sucks. It's not on a bigger board." And I hit them up on the side. I'm like, "What are you looking for?" And they're like, eight five or what, whatever it is. And I'm just like, "Yeah." Then I got to figure out a way to like, okay, buy a board and I'll send you this one. You know, it's just like little things where it's like, hey, we're listening to you, but we're not there yet. Like, yeah. Like the skateboarding world is, you know, they were always leading everything. And now as far as like the technology is, and people's websites, yeah, everybody I think is playing catch up on that. Word. So. Yeah. What do you do exactly? Uh, everything? Well, you my- kind of <laughs> seem like an, you were just setting up boards. Yeah. I, so. My title is in-house sales rep and uh, events specialist. In-house sales rep and events specialist. So Names? whatever the hell you think that. Yeah, means, yeah, yeah. My brother's got a job at don't Starbucks. Don't think of that. Yeah. Where he goes is, and he's told me I can't even. It's like probably ten times. Yeah. And it's like transportation coordinating logistics sales and every time i'm like just i'm like glossed over i'm like yeah. i don't know what any of that means well, I, I hope in, you're having a great time yeah. that's my thing i'm like i hope you like it that sounds yeah. great but well, i well i sit in all the different meetings from like a sales meeting every week to the marketing meetings but then it's like i'm on the road with the team yeah i just kind of like the team manager right no we're we have dave wang okay dave wang was. jake told me jake thought you were when I My first dumbass so, brother Jake. So well, when I first started here, that was what I was told because I was taking over somebody's position who was still here. Yeah. And at the time, we didn't have a team manager. Yeah. So when I did start, it was I started November 2010, and so from November till January, we didn't have a team manager. Word. So I kind of I went to Tampa Am. I just helped out with the little things, but. You're talking the team was – it was at the time it was – Apple Yard had just got on. It was Darrell, Levi, and Tim Tim, and that was it. For real? So that was the pro team, and then it was like – What's uh, – I'm so – there's so – this podcast could probably be five hours because <laughs> of how curious I am about so many things. Yeah. And uh, just – it's already a tangent. But I'm like, what's the – why – what was the arc of time uh, – what was the arc for Element? Like they got down to the, just those writers because then they popped back up. They got Nigel now. Well, obviously, I mean, there's a few different things during the time. There was a lot of decisions being made to like bring on certain guys. Like, I mean, if you look at right before that time, there yeah. was, I mean, you had Chris in, you had Brent Ashley, but then you also had like the Mike V and the Bam, Tony Tave. So yeah, yeah you had yeah. such a diverse crew. The identity was weird, right? Yeah, it was just, it was kind of like, what, what is, I mean, Chad Muska was on. So you're just kind of like. <laughs> Muska was on. Oh, yeah. shit. Muska that's and right. Bam were on the same that. team. Yeah. That's so, a fucking so, crew. So you're looking at this It's like the team, Expendables. And no offense, like, guys. And, it, it, you know, it's great. I mean, for, for what it was, it was great. But in skateboarding world at that time, it kind of was like it became too much of like, well, a lot of the like, you know, Mike V was kind of like 
he was in that phase of like coming out of the CKY and trying to figure out his, he, I mean, he was still going through his identity sure. of like, what is he going to do? Does he want to ride for a company or does, does he, he want to fight people or, or does he want to work for his like own company? Yeah. So he was going through that, figuring that out. And then just with all the different changes. And I mean, even here, you know, inside the company, it changed so much to where, you know, everybody, it's just kind of like things, things had to like, we had to get small. Yeah. We had to get small. And then that's why we're, you know, you have to get small to build it back up. So sure. then it was like, when I had started too, it was like, that's when we were talking to Nija and trying to get Nija back on. And yeah, he won it back on and he was going through some changes personally to where, I mean, everybody knows what was going on with his family. Right. And all that other stuff to where. Is that pre cut dreads? Yeah. Still dread days, right? Yeah. So when, yeah. So when he was. That's the, my timeline of Nija. If so, you can reference pre dread and it's like Christ, like yeah. before and after dreads. Yeah. ED and AD. <laughs> before dreads and after dreads. Yeah. 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 So, so he, when he got back on, he still had dreads and everything else. And then, you know, he, he became his own person. But at the same time, the brand was becoming its own it was becoming its own thing to yeah. where, I mean, I mean, look at the team now and you just, I don't, I mean, there's a lot of people that can hate on Nigel and all that other stuff, but it's yeah. like without, you Easy. know, he, he's one of the best out there, but if you look, I mean, look at the team, like the bigger who, you are, the more you're going to get that real bullshit. quick. Who doesn't like Westgate or Evan Smith? Oh my or God. Julian I have an Evan or, you know, Smith board in and, my trunk. I just want to brag. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm so going to take just time. It's one of those things where it's like, you look and then it's like, okay, then you have like, you have the other side where we have like Grayson Fletcher on the team and yeah. Tom Sharp, but then we're also doing, I mean, if you, if you really look at the reach of element as a whole, you can't just look at the element team. You have to look at like how far out do we go? Like an extension yeah. of us. I mean, life extension. Yeah. We've done stuff with LE before we've, we brought center on trips. We've done tours with them. We did stuff with blood wizard. One of our filmers that we pay is a blood wizard pro. Yeah. So we, we like, we're paying another pro on another team to film our guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like one of those things where it's like in this like crazy world, it's like somehow we make it work to where, you know, he's able to get paid as a pro, and then he's also get able to get paid as a filmer and yeah. editor for us. Shit's hyper connected. So it's just tentacles. So, well, I mean, it just makes it easier to go out there and skate with the right people. I love so. the, I love the, like company names in skateboarding because like if you don't know skateboarding, like yeah. how funny like you just you say Blood Wizard, you yeah. could be like you could have said any two words. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even what, it, what blows my mind is when, you know, you tell people, hey, I work for Element, and they just go, well, what's that? Yeah, isn't and that funny? Like, Wait, really? Like, oh, there's still there's still a whole, I mean. Isn't that funny? Because it's gotten so big. It's gotten so mainstream compared to the history of skateboarding. But it's still not a mainstream thing. Like, no. skateboarding, it is mainstream compared to even 2000 Yeah, oh, as yeah. a culture. But it's still like a, a little side world over here. Of fucking, you know, anarchists yeah. and uh, anti-authority kids trying to skate rails uh, during the day when they can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Nolan. Yes. But I mean, hey, but it, did I make enough sense? But I yeah. mean, outside of like Tony We're Hawk, here with Nolan not making sense. <laughs> but, uh, but outside of like Tony Hawk ground, that's all people know. The only thing they know is like the Tony, like, oh, Tony yeah. Hawk. Like, I mean, the second you say, hey, do you skate or the, like you skateboard? Yeah. There's like, oh, do you know? You know yeah, exactly. How many Tony drinks Hawk. can you do? That kind Tony of thing. Hawk, yeah, how's yeah, the X yeah. Games going? And you're just over here like. There's a whole nother. I mean, this, it's like that with everything. There's a whole nother world that people don't understand. Totally. So, like, so with that, do you know Tony Hawk? Have you ever met him? I've met him. Okay, I mean, cool. David and then, Lloyd comes in. It's just one of those things where it's like David Lloyd comes in here. You go to a video premiere or something. You see him. I used to like, I used to volunteer at the, uh, for I ask and help out, which is the international association of skateboard companies. Oh shit. I didn't even and, know that existed. And I, I, for the last, not this international last year, national association of skateboard, skateboard companies. companies. I ask. Yep. And they're, they're the ones helping with, uh, what is it? The ISF, the International Skate Federation, which are the ones getting the skateboarding into the Olympics. Dude, there's federations yeah. involved oh, now. Oh, it goes. Oh, whoa! So, <laughs> this shit gets deep. But I used to like help out and volunteer at the Hall of Fame. So it's like there's a Hall of Fame. Yeah. What Jesus the? Christ. Oh, I used to hold. <laughs> put it this way. There's I, a skateboarding I Hall have, of Fame. I have a whole background of me holding all the trophies: John Cardiels, Tony Hawk's, Thrasher magazines. Oh, that's like, awesome. I have them all. Man. That is sick. So it's like. I'm helping setting setting up all these stages and stuff, and I'm like holding like one one of a kind artwork of like Gon's artwork or whatever it is, and Cardiel's face, and you're just like, it's pretty fucking. This cool. is one of the That's things I'm most interested with you is just coming because you're a Richland kid, yeah, like skater, filmer, South Richland, Washington, Washington. Yep. Richland, yep. Washington. Uh, this has already come up a couple of times in the podcast, but mm -hmm. that's right next to uh, where 
uh, Alex and me skated in Yakima and Ellensburg. It's all in that same area. Yeah. But I'm interested in you because you have a cool, like, every kid, when you start skating, I think, like, you want to go pro, right? Yeah. And then you realize you're not that good. And then you then you kind of want to just be a part of skateboarding. Yeah. And you got to do that. Like, yeah. you got to go from just being a Grom, like, local kid, part of a local scene, Mosaic, yeah. right? And oh, then, Mosaic, Golden, before all that, ooh, Forever Summer. Golden, oh, my gosh. You're talking 2000. I mean, even oh, before all of that, gotta, you can go back. Talk to, about it. I you, don't know. You can go back to Urethane and Kennewick when Kennewick Park had opened, and the only skate shop in all the area was Urethane. See, so. I, I think I moved to Yakima right when there was Golden. Oh, Golden had just opened. Golden. There was a rivalry between Mid State Go- and yeah. Golden. Oh, really? And I don't even understand but, that. Well, no, because didn't Golden get robbed? Golden got robbed, and we just happened to be out street skating in there, and we stopped by the shop one day, and we're just like, "Hey, like, have you guys?" I remember because I, I asked Vito, just like, "Hey, have you happened to see like?" And he was just like, "No, we ain't got none of your shit out here." And I'm like, "All right, cool. <laughs> like, like and we were just like, Vito yeah. did that, yeah." And for we were sure. just like, "We're not even like, I don't, I don't understand, dude." That. Peaceful we're, dreadhead Vito fronted we were, on you because I'm just like, we're all skateboarders and shit. Like I'm, yeah, like that's crazy because it's like because nowadays skate shops look out for each other. There's a whole kind of have to. Well, there's a whole crew that people don't understand that's called Skull and Bones. Okay, and those are the guys that are like, you know, when Nike strong arms some people, yeah. Skull they and unite. Bones gets together and it's they go It's like out a to labor Nike. union. Well, and it, you're talking, you know, you're talking uh, Uprise, you're talking PLA, Alive and Well in Seattle. So, all these guys, they're yeah. all friends with each other. Low and, card? Uh, no, Low Card's a magazine. So these are poor <laughs> skate shops. Right? Well, they're the guys that are. Oh, I, mean, I but see. But these what are like, saying. if you go to the area, those are the main influencers in the area. Right. Right. Yeah. So, but that gets back to like how I kind of got my job and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, so you're just skating around and then boom, well, what? Just, I mean, if if you want to be a part of skateboarding, nobody's going to, nobody can tell you yes or no. Yeah. Like if I ever got fired or whatever and I had to move back, I would still be running skateboarding and doing what I'm doing. I would still be trying to throw best trick contest. So that's what we did. We would sure. throw, we would throw best trick contest and go skate day thing, just anything we could to keep skateboarding and keep all the kids knowing that like, keep coming back. There's like, there's, there's, Richland. There's, yeah, just, just yeah. fun things going on. So. Was King of the Road? Was that your baby, or who who started that? There was King of the Road in Richland. That yeah. was amazing. Oh man, I'm trying to think how far. Um, man, I think the first one. I think it was Taylor Hall. Oh shit! So okay. Taylor, I think it was like Taylor kind of coming up with the idea, and then it was uh, just a few of us like, all right, let's try to do it and piecing it together, and then we just kind of like went from spot to spot and just kind of like looking. I mean, oh, actually, it was like, it, I mean. I, I don't want to take credit, but it, I mean Taylor and Chris McFarland, between them two, they kind of ha- had the idea, and I I think I just helped, kind of like progress it. Yeah. And then, the following year we wanted to do it again, but bigger. So I kind of just went out there. I just had like, like these guys were just like they're finishing high school and shit, and so I was just like, I was out. I had a job. I had a car. I would just drive and like, cool. I found this spot. I found, and I would just take pictures and put them. We would just piece it together, but then I would send it to these guys and have them look at it and have their input. And then it became like the guys from Spirit Skate Shop came down. And then I think the, yes. and then there was like guys from Seattle came down. Like, uh, I mean, I fuck Bobby Dodd was a part of it one year. And they uh, got arrested, right? Nick, uh, Nick Coons was a part of it. And then you also had, uh, Fuck B nut up there in B-Nut. Seattle. Brandon Taylor, right? they stayed at my house. Yeah. Those guys got arrested. Those guys got arrested at the mall. <laughs> yeah, at the sense. mall. That's right. They were skating at the mall. In the mall. They're skating in the mall, and like something, bro- somebody broke a window or something. I don't know. Something Which happened. Which mall? Uh, Richland. The like Kennewick Mall. Kennewick Mall. Yeah, okay. Richland, Kennewick, whatever. Yeah, so. yeah. But I mean, but it was just one of those things where it's like being a part of skateboarding is just like just doing your own thing, and if yeah. somebody catches on, that's great. Like, you know, is that kind of what happened with Element then? Well, I well my my end for that was I was working at skate camp at the same time. Okay. So I would come down here every summer and work at skate camp and up in Visalia, and you know, just happened that Element was there that week, and you know, their marketing guy who was supposed to be running point on everything, yeah, was kind of blowing it, and then I kind of was there, and I was just like, hey, what do you know? I was just I was just, yeah, I was just putting the pieces together because everything that I had learned working with Josh Mose and like running events. The more you can learn about running an event, it's yeah. like, you know, the teamwork and everything. Like the the best thing you can do is if somebody shows up and they're like, shit, we need help, and you can kind of like step in and make decisions for them, and yeah. they're, they're the right ones. And Solve you can, problems. You can kind of do it without them telling you. Then they're like, holy shit, like this guy, like yeah. this guy's rad, and you know, we don't have to like tell him what to do. Like he he can figure out work on his own. So, Word. and then it kind of turned into, 
I don't know, a month later, I was working at the grocery store and got a phone call from the marketing director here and asked if I was interested and said, yeah, I was interested. And then from there, I got flown down for an interview. It was like a one day, like fly down how, in the morning. Let's pull back. Yeah. How fired up were you? How stoked were you on that call? Uh, were you cool. nervous or was it no, just like, just uh, like, I knew the guy and I'm just like, he worked at skate camp too. He worked yeah. at skate camp before. So it wasn't so. starry eyed. Like, cause to me that was like, well, how old were you at that time? Um, because that would blow my dick 23. off. If I was twenty three and that ha- yeah. I got that call, that my my dick would be on the other side <laughs> on a wall. It would be di- it would be distant from my body. Yeah. It'd just be amazing. No, but you were like, cool. ah. it was just kind of like, yeah. All right, like, Maybe that's why like, you were built for it. Like, and it was just cool. But I mean, but I mean, he did his homework. But he didn't just call me out of the blue. Like he hit up the marketing director at the time, which was Mike Menides, yeah, who actually owns the you know the best shop I guess in the Bay uh, Atlas. I don't oh, know right. if you, you guys know like I've Mark Suchi writes for it yeah. and all these guys like fucking great shot but it's like he he kind of vouched for me because he'd been working with me at that point for five years connections folks so and it was like so i'd been working at skate camp since 2008 yeah so it was just like from there on it's just natural relationships and then they you know they flew me down interview and then flew me down a couple weeks later and then i worked damn am here and you know same thing team was different it was uh me chase webb this guy vincent luvanos and uh boo johnson Oh, that's word. who I was looking after. Yeah, at the Costa Mesa Dam. Boo was Am. Yep. Yeah, was he's up. sick. Yeah. Didn't didn't Boo win, win an element contest? Make it count, and that's how he got noticed. Or is that not right? I don't know. I mean, I think he he used to enter him. I don't know if he won one. There's, okay. I mean, you go through those contests, and you can, if you if you follow them and look at some of the photos, you're you'll be surprised who's entered. Yeah, them. right, right. Because they just posted like uh, one of the founders, Mike Kirshner's birthday was the other day, and they did a throwback photo, and it's him. With the old marketing director Ryan Kingman, but then it's also Figgy and Antoine Dixon Holy at a Make It Count contest, and both those guys won. That's sick. So that you're and you're talking, you're talking, twelve years ago. Yeah. yeah. So like you know, this is like pre Antoine that everybody knows. Yeah. Like Figgy, little short haired kid, just like skate rat. We kid. talked about Antoine on the last podcast, just how how influential he's been on skateboarding, on yeah. style, like. Oh. We were talking about the uh, the arm down yeah, craze. Hands, hands down, there's hands actually, down there's craze. Actually, yeah, there's actually a and guy, it's his fault, man. Well, there's a guy that he, I mean, he calls himself like hands down. I mean, his Instagram's like hands down something. Hands down, hands. He skates. I mean, I mean, if you, you even like look at the dime contest up there in Montreal. Yeah, they have a whole section where it's like most gangster challenge. And it's all these guys, so sick. and they go up and do a trick like a steezy back Smith across the ledge. And when yeah. they come out, they're super lazy, arms down, hunched over, just kind of. Isn't that like, his? Isn't that Antoine's that's him. fault? I mean, right? It's well, like he started that. And I say it, fault; it's a negative connotation because, to a certain degree, some of it like is like forced style, which well, is ugly, right? But then it's like if it's just natural but the way and cool. He's doing it, it's, it's not, oh no, no, no he's amazing. Guys trying to be seizing. and then the no. dime contest, they're they're over they're, 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 Yeah, they're, they're exaggerating they're, the shit out of it. But Antoine, I mean, I remember mm-hmm. Baker three. And I remember yeah. watching it on, you know, you watch it and you're just like, what the fuck? How the hell is this guy doing these tricks with his arms? Like not, they're it not was, moving. It was yeah. freaky. Like nollie heel flips, nollie. Cruise. You're yeah. just like, what the hell? Like this dude just, just jumping. Unbelievable. But, I mean, you go to Cherry Park and everybody knows him up there. I think he's out there right now. And this area living. So, I mean, oh you yeah. You see him around at the different trade shows and yeah, he seems to be doing fine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a whole vice piece on him. Yeah. When you have a vice piece, that's good. That means that shit went down. But hey, you're doing okay now. Kinda. I mean, you know what I mean? Th- th- hey, those guys, they will pick and choose, and they will try to stir some shit up like, in your in your it. story. Just that, well, no, just like they try to like if they hear something, they'll bring. I mean, they want drama. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. I won't yeah. say a name, but there was one of my friends who's pro, and you know, some shit got stirred up, and eventually they kicked. They're just like, we're not doing this interview, and they kicked them out because they were like, you're trying to stir some shit up, and it was like. Well, Wait, the pro they, got mad or Vice got mad? Well, the pro got mad because it's he like, was there well, fucking it's like with you're, him. well, you're getting personal, right? You know, you know, you, like you, they start taking it back to like that old Big Brother era where it's like, you know, like they they want to get a rise out of you, which I get. Yeah, they, yeah, you yeah. want a good interview. It is compelling. Like, like Sierra I, Fellers is, was good. Yeah, I thought that was a cool piece. Like, but it's like they want to get something out of you to where it's like, you know, especially if it's like. Just your history. Every everybody sure. kind of knows your history, but they don't know the depth of that. So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. You know, you want to. It's, and it's not gotcha journalism. I don't know what the word is, but it is kind of like trying to sensationalism. Well, it's, the word we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, word. it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> hey, if you want to interview somebody good, but you got to respect them because for sure, I know some people that'll just fucking hit you. 
Right. And then that'll be it. And then you'll be like, fuck you, dude. And like, That's right. so fucking oh. co- funny. That's awesome. Yes. You know, could you this... imagine a podcast and all of a sudden you just hear like a boom on the <laughs> thing and you're like, what happened? And, like, and this oh, was when. I just got hit by Antoine or something. <laughs> yeah. Antoine like, bashed me with he's a chair. gone. I guess that, you know, just, you know, whatever it could be. So. Right. That would be awesome, though. I, honestly, if that actually <laughs> happened, yeah. I would love for that. Um, do you remember how connected were you with the Seattle skate world back then? Or, or how, you know, like, were you familiar with like. Uh, um, like the Manic Crew, yeah. Marshall, and all that shit. I, I knew Marshall and I knew Steve G only just because of through uh, through uh, Josh Mose. Yeah, but I mean, we I mean, we would just go do our own thing. It wasn't yeah. like we'd come up there and meet up with people. It was like I mean, Goods was around at the time, so it was yeah. like we'd seen it, but it was just like it was always a separate. We, well, we were just there to go skate. Yeah. And it was like, we just go skate spots. Whatever yeah. we knew or what do we find? I always think it's funny. I wrote this down, and I can't help but bring these guys up, especially when we're talking Washington skaters. But and we talked about it last time. I think it's funny, like, two of the best skaters out of Washington. One never did anything. The other became the, one of the best skaters in the world. Yeah. The two Corys. Yeah. Corey McCowan and Corey Kennedy. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. And neither one of them were Seattle products. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they came from, they both were similar where they were where, off. Yeah, Marysville. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Lake Stevens. Yeah. My brother went to high school with that kid. And then uh, McCown out there fucking gap nose blunting down that whatever. Hey, you can only try so much. with. The, I mean, love that kid. I tried to do everything with him. Try to I, foster when I, that. When I tried to set him straight, he didn't like it. And he, you know, it was. I, remember, I mean, there was this one where I was just like, I gave him some shit for some. I don't even remember what it was. But then the next day we were leaving for a trip. Yeah. And he was so bitter that I gave him some shit for it that he was like, I'm not going on this trip. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. Like, he was you know, an immature kid. I was just like, fuck it, dude. Like, that's your fault. Yeah. I won't fucking help you anymore. So then we go on this trip. We film. We get a lot of footage. We make whatever. And then he sees all the footage. He's like, fuck, I want to go on the next one. I'm How like, old is he back then? Fuck. I don't even. I mean, he like 14, I think. Yeah. Maybe younger. Oh, okay. So he's just a punk yeah, kid. He, well, yeah. But, I mean, he st- you saw potential in him. And it was like, it's the same way, like, Josh would bring him down to California with ATM and try to, like, make something out of it. Right. But it's just like. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. You you fucking, you know, you bailed on me last minute. You think I'm going to pull you on this next trip? So then it, the next trip came around. And he's like, can I go? And I go, well, these four guys came on my last trip, and they're all down to go. So it's kind of like, you know, they got seniority. They're yeah. coming. Like, I trust Word. them. They're going to come. We're going to skate. Like, that's a respectable you gotta, you move. You got to learn how to get back in the van, however it is. So, <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's, that's a life lesson. That's a good yeah. Learn how to get back is. in the van. Doesn't matter man. how good you are. If you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. No, yeah. Say, yeah, he wasn't a piece of shit. No, he, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah no, just, of course he's a good he was, guy. He was just like he just had a lot of learning, and he just he had a lot of like. But learning for all the pieces to do, of shit, but it was like I mean, he, for him, he was just stuck in this weird crowd yeah. to where it was like. You know, some days he'd be skating. The next day he'd see him hanging out with the Juggalos, like, throwing bowling balls in the fucking bowl. And you're just like, <laughs> dude, what is this? Oh, yeah. And then you'd see him skating again, and then you'd go, <laughs> the we'd, go we'd go on a trip or something. Then you'd come back, and you're like, what happened? And he's like, oh, I got stabbed. And it's like, why? Oh, you got in a fight with somebody at the skate park. And you're like, dude, man, it's not worth it. Like, you almost died because you got in a fight. With, like, who and cares? He couldn't see. Everybody else could see how yeah. gnarly he could be, but yeah. he couldn't see it. That bothers me. And then, and, then he, and then he got the, uh, what is it? The, he got the traction with the social media, the sit-down king. What was that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do yeah, the yeah. trick sitting down, and people are freaking. I'm just like, hey, like, that's cool to do, but like the fact that your name's out there, you should make your skating talk more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh it my was god. Like, so then he, he went. To the, then he went into the rap world, which was cool or whatever. And it's like, okay, he's making a name there too. But it's just like, dude, you got to stick with something. Yeah. You're jumping around to where you're not gonna. You're you're jumping around till something hits. Yeah. And you're, uh, you know, you're gonna run out of things eventually, and. Then you're gonna have to get the real job like everybody else, and you're right. not gonna like and it. And you could have had a career. Yeah, you could have so, had a gnarly career. Well, he was gnarly. Dude, he used to come down and skate the Crossroads contest at Jamie Thomas's place, and it used to be, it was Ben Hatchell and Corey McCowan always battling each other at that fucking contest. Yeah, because they could both skate a rail. Well, Corey could skate a rail better, but then Ben could skate a quarter pipe a little better. But, but they, they could, could both, both, do both. But they could both do five forties and they, oh. and they, and so Jamie Thomas was calling him perps and he's like, come on perps. Cause he's wearing this big ghetto gown t-shirt, like double <laughs> XL purple yeah. t-shirt, no logos on it, trying to spin a five forty and Ben ha- and Jamie, I think Jamie said something to Ben was like, you fucking get this now. And Jane and Ben went, went and did a five forty on the quarter pipe. And then Corey, and it's one of those things where it's like, you can't do a five forty now. The homie just took it. Oh like, no. You know, it's like, he just did it. You can't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's one banger. You got to yeah. do another one like now, you, man. You, you what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to land it for second place. It's not that tight anymore. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. 
But I mean, I don't know. He, I mean, he's doing good. It seems so. Yeah. And then, I mean, of course, Corey Kennedy made it out of there, which is he's unbelievable. Fucking great. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We were talking about the uh, the day he basically got discovered at that Bellevue Plaza uh, uh, was, contest. What, what what was it again? What it was uh, it was a girl demo, and everybody was there. It yeah. was I think it was the grand opening or part of the grand opening of the Bellevue Plaza. Yeah. Girl came out, did a pro demo. Every skatehead from Seattle or from Washington was there. Yeah. Was, everybody was there. And then at the end, they did a best trick on the long, shallow rail, handrail. Yep. <clears throat> and everybody's throwing down on it. It's like Josh Anderson, yeah. uh, Hector. I remember, you know, like people, everybody was getting down on it. And then I remember, and then Corey like rolled up later. Like he wasn't even part of the main first flow of jumping down. He kind of yeah. waited till the middle. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, bam, 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 bam. Oh, back, he, I mean, switch back tail, kick flip back tail, big spin out. Uh, it was unbe- Well, kick flip back tail first, yeah. then big spin out. Then uh, then to just end it, contest over, switch back heel. Or yeah. switch heel back 5-0. Yeah, and I, I mean, even still. And like, that was it. Six months later, But, it, psh, but even still off. being from Washington, you kind of heard this kid and this and that. And then it was like. Like wind. I mean, the only time I'd ever seen him skate, or not even skate, but uh, the only time I've ever seen it. I've never met him personally or anything like that. Yeah. But it was just like the Beware of Sasquatch video premiere. It yeah, was just like he yeah. drove by and he's like, because he was still young. So it was like his mom was dropping him off and his girlfriend <laughs> at the awesome. time. And everybody was like, dude, that's Corey Kennedy in there. It was like a BMW, like SUV or whatever. He's like, that's Corey Kennedy. I'm still over here like. Who? Who? <laughs> like, 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 sorry, dude. And then it's like, oh, that kid. And then it's like, oh, okay, that guy's fucking cool. So. Yeah, he's he's unbelievable. Yeah, he blew up. It was six months later because I remember Marshall. I mean, Marshall gave him first and second. Yeah, and because he t- both of his tricks were the best tricks. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, it was it was fucking game over from there. Uh, who's the current team right now? Who's the element team right now? Um, you got Nigel Westgate, Evan Smith, Julian Davidson, Nick Garcia, Matters Apps, Chad Timpton, Levi Brown. Grayson Fletcher, Ray Barbie, Mark Appleyard, and let's see. I don't know if I'm missing anybody. I got to look at the wall. It's and a big team. It's like 12. De- oh, Mason Silva okay. just turned pro a couple months ago. Oh, sick. And then. His part's unbelievable. Yeah, I can't remember kid. the name of it, but the one I, I just watched. The Red Balloon one? Was that on Thrasher? Yeah. yeah. The Thrasher, yeah. Yeah. Oof. So it's the same Oof. thing to where it's like when we turned him pro, it was like me and Cole Matthews. It was a. It was the Am Scramble video premiere, and right, then, yeah. and then we premiered. It was during Agenda back in July, and then we premiered Mason's part right afterwards. So it's like, so same thing to where it's like I work for Element, but I'm up there setting up a fucking Thrasher video. I'm hanging Thrasher boards. I'm hanging all this yeah. shit for Thrasher. Where me and Cole are running this event for like so that we could turn Mason Pro and all this and that, and then at the end of it, I guess, uh, you know, somebody was like, oh, the Thrasher dudes were like, that was one of the best events we've, like, that's ever been done. Yeah. And, I mean, we, we just covered it all to where it was like, oh, like, you know, we really look at his graphic, which is behind you, and it's done by Nathaniel Russell, and it's like Red Balloon, so it's like, oh, let's just, so we sat there earlier that day blowing up four or 500 balloons all by hand, tying them in a knot, thro- so like, oh, that's so, cool. so it was pretty much like, it was like, everybody's watching the video on this wall, but there was a behind it you couldn't see what was behind it and there was all these balloons and then the, the video ended and everybody's cheering and then it was like the lights stayed dim and then it went to mason's part and then when it ended we threw all these balloons over the wall and all the boards and i, I was up top handing boards to everybody like pretty much just throwing boards to all the guys down there so they're holding the boards up people are running around stomping balloons and shit so it's just like pop 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 and that's just, awesome but it was just one of those things where it was like okay. and this is his pro reveal yeah Oh, that's, that's cool. So we had, I mean, his whole family was there. His shop that he rides for was there, but it was like, this is one of those things where it's just, it's just all, when it works like that, you're just, it's magic. It's good. And I mean, you're talking about a space that can hold, I mean, I don't even know how many people, but you couldn't walk in the door. Yeah. Like you couldn't walk in the door. I was like jumping over people trying to like get to my point so that I could throw the balloons and shit like that. Yeah. And you're talking, you know, 300 people in a room that's, you know, 2,500 square feet, maybe, or maybe smaller. Yeah. And then the outside, there was two to 300 people still trying to get in. Oh, shit. So you're talking five, 600 people, you know. And yeah. Every time we do these events, they're good. We're Where's good Mason about from? He is from Manhattan Beach. Okay. So Cali up, kid. Yeah. He's cool. like South Bay, yeah. LA Bay. So, but I mean, it's one of those things where it's just an extension of like, oh, these guys now know that I know how to do an event. Yeah. So then it's like the same thing. This where is it's your like, shit. You're running point yeah, so on it's like, oh, a we know huge how to, event. We know how to do events. Like, I mean, yeah. You, 
you, I mean, you guys remember the Plan B video, Be True? Yeah. Me and my buddy Mark, we were the ones who ran all that. Like me, the him, premiere. Yeah, Ryan Denman, all that stuff. We, no way. We 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 went there. We so got, this is an example of how you get into other shit. Like yeah. it's element, but then you're also in it, being involved in so many other. It's almost like contract work. Yeah. Like so getting, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm like an unpaid. Like I just help with everything because to me, it's like what matters is skateboarding. Yeah. So it's like how can it's you fun? Keep, how can yeah? And it's like it's just, it's fun. I mean, this you go back to the Hall of Fame. I volunteered for three years. Yeah. They were paying somebody five grand to do the same thing the years before they actually paid the same guy even when i was there volunteering yeah and the guy that they paid i just remember him driving by two years ago going have a good night and i'm looking at my what like my phone going it's fucking 11 o'clock at night it we're shutting down and this guy gets to drive away and he got paid yeah and me and my buddy we stayed there till 3 a.m taking everything down and you're talking like original boards that like like tony hawk's first like not his first skateboard but it's like one of the first yeah. ones that he ever wrote where is this i don't i didn't well, even know there was a so, hall well, of fame so up in simi valley at skate lab they oh they i did hear hall about of that fame, i did hear and they bring all that stuff down but we have to build the displays and all that shit yeah that it. so it's like you know they've been doing it since 2009 or something so but it's the same thing just getting back to events where it's like yeah you just get really good at doing something and like I mean, if somebody, you know, people come up to me, like, hey, you know, like Thrasher asked us for like a checklist. Hey, do you guys have like a checklist you go off of for like when you guys doing an event? And I'm just like, we're just like, uh, no, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of stuck in my head. Yeah. I just kind of like. Yeah, you know what to do. It's just, we just talk about everything. We just go, hey, what do you want to do there? And I just, I just kind of listen for the guys and they just tell me what they want to do. And they're just like, oh, I want to do this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, okay. So in my head, I'm just like marking, okay, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this. You know, just whether it's like, go, oh, I need recyclables there. I need a security guard. I need tables, tablecloths, stickers. Like, it's just all those little, like, yeah. I mean. And you like that shit. Yeah, because you just got to go down to like, okay, when you show up, what do you want it to look like? Yeah. What do you want What do you want it to look like? And that's all you have to do. And then you just propose the idea. And most of the time, people are like, fuck, didn't think of that. That looks great. Can do you, you have do an it? event idea? This might be a dumb question. But who okay. cares? It's a podcast, oh. <laughs> and it's my podcast. Uh, do you have an idea of like of like an event you'd love to do? Something that happens that you'd love to be a part of setting up, or something that doesn't exist that you'd love to kind of like an idea of something that would be cool? Like I do comedy. Yeah. Sometimes I have an idea for what would be a cool comedy show, yeah. not just a stand up show. It'd be something eclectic and interesting and unique or something like that. Yeah. Do you have anything like that? Uh, Dumb question. No, no, <laughs> no. no I, I think I'm too busy with everything else to like think about. Like, I mean, yeah. to fantasize. Well, it's just like yeah. it's one of those things where it's like you just. I mean, you just go from one thing to the next to the next to yeah. the next, and the best thing you can do is just stop and kind of make sure that it's like, how did you do it? Did you do it correctly? What can like it's just, yeah. you know everything you got to evaluate yourself. And to you make get it that better. Mason Silva moment. Yeah. That's just like I'm just doing it, yeah, and then boom, you get these cool. Well, you, I mean, fuck, right there. You just at that point, you're just being fueled by beer. <laughs> you're just like you're just Love like it. you know when you're there it's just like you know you have you know a million things to do and it's just like well fuck yeah like i'm down to do them i don't care how long it takes i don't let how you know i stayed there till everybody left at 10 and i think we were still there sweeping at midnight yeah and i still had a, and i had a trade show the next day in agenda long beach damn so it's like all right well fuck what like you know people are like why aren't you coming to the bar and i'm like i'm good i'm having like to me it's like I can have fun while working and yeah. having a beer. Hell yeah. So I do it all the time. Like we, we did a sales meeting in the back of our warehouse, like fully like the office. Yeah. And we set it all up and shit and everybody had a great time. And you know, people are like, Oh, do you need help cleaning up? And I'm just like, no, like I enjoy cleaning up because I like, it's the satisfaction of like, did you have fun? Yeah. Great. Then that's all I care about. Totally. So, I mean, that's probably why my wife hates me and shit because anytime we do an event, that's something I wanted. I wrote that. She's down. just, Hey, like, can I come to it? And then she's just like, yeah, you know, or I'm like, yeah, yeah let's, let's come to it. And then she's like, Hey, you know, I go to these events with you and you kind of wander around and yeah. run around. I'm just like, well, I'm, you're I, running it. I'm like, well, if, well, even if I don't run it, I somehow become running it or helping sure. out. Cause you're the guy to go well, to. Well, it's just like, it's like all the little things, you know, when we're, we're up there in Seattle at some Zoomies, uh, managers meeting and stuff. And there's all these other booths there and they're trying to set up, like people are up there setting their own stations up and you know, like Don Brown's just like, Oh, you know, I I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, I'm just looking. You know, I need this, this, this. And I'm just like, oh, I got that. I got, just come over. So I just go back to my booth and I just, I just kind of carry my tools with me, carry extra extension cord, just shit like that to where yeah. you just be pre prepared. You're the event so, extraordinaire. Yeah. So How's that? That thing with the wife is funny though too. Like I'll do at stand up shows. Like I and I love my wife so much, but yeah. it's like if she when she wants to come, 
I'm like, all right, but I feel like you might hate it because I'm going to be just doing anything else. Like, first of all, I'm thinking about the set. Yeah, I'm. Th- that's on my mind, so I'm not going to be like chummy and having a good time. And then I'm probably talking to other people and running around, and like, it sucks because I want her to be able to come out and have fun. But it's like, unless she knows somebody there, yeah, like, I'm yeah, just going to be. She's just going to be sitting at the table. I mean. Cause I, I take my I take my daughter with me to a lot of skateboarding events, and so yeah. she's just kind of like she's familiar with a lot of the people. And then, you know, Elise is so much more like, you know, when she does come out, she's just like, wait, this person knows Ava. It's kind of weird, and it's just like, well, yeah. Ava, Ava comes. Ava just wants to be a part of all this yes. stuff, and it's, it's different like, for a kid. But it, they but, just be there. But it's like, I mean, it's the same thing to where it's like, you know, do I really like? Okay, I'm going to bring her to this thing where there's 600 people. Right, and I'm gonna be running around, and it's gonna be so crowded, right. and That's it's gonna stressful. be. It's just kind of like for her, it's just like it's easier for her to be like, "Hey, we'll just hang out later." So yeah, I mean, it, it does put a lot of stress on the relationship, but yeah, it's now, this is where it's gonna get yeah. heavy. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. turn this is my this is my are, vice piece. Yeah, we're turning How's into Doctor Phil yeah. over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about how long that. you been married? Um, four years. Nice. So. I'm at five. Cheers. <laughs> I'm at zero. Nice. Planet Nerd. You're at negative? I'm at negative. <laughs> yeah. I'm at You're rejections. anti-married. Yeah, I'm anti-married. No, it's good. I mean, it's just a lot of stress to where it's like my job is so demanding. My hours are so irregular. Yeah. To where, like, I mean, a lot of the time people, are, when I'm not in the office, they wonder where I'm at. And I'm just like, you, know, you, know, you have no idea what my work week is. When I leave my the office here, my phone will ring until midnight. Yeah. Just from accounts. Like I deal with guys that are just as busy as me that are buying, you know, $65 million worth of products. You don't have to answer this, but are you salary? Yeah, I am. Okay. So, so you have a thing where the work is your life a little bit. It's a hundred percent or it can be any time. It is an exact. It's not clock in, clock out. No, there is, there is no such, I mean, there is, I mean, you clock, I clocked in on November 8th, 2010. (laughs) And he's been clocked in ever since. And I fucking (laughs) put it this way. No days off, bitch. Put it this way. Last year. That was the first time they tried to make me take vacation time. Yeah. So they made me, and I'm just like, you guys, do. so we had to work it out. And so they made me take Fridays off. They made me take five Fridays in a row yeah. off. And it was like. And you hated but, it? No, I, I was just like, <laughs> I was like, you guys are making me do this. Don't call me. And then, yeah. And it's like, my day's off. Phone is ringing. Phone is ringing. And I'm Funny. Like, and I'm like, you guys are forcing me to take a day off. And yeah. then you guys are calling me. Totes. So what is it? Like, right. tell me what is it? like? Right. So it's just the same thing to where it's like. Do you do you know, date night with the wife? Because that work-life balance thing, like, here's the gift and the curse of loving your job, right? Because it's yeah. like, that's the dream is to do something you love and be able to provide for your family oh, yeah. with your job. <laughs> and then it's the, and this is, goes back to that book, The Alchemist. Do you remember, Alex, do you remember that story in The Alchemist where that old man tangent but we're gonna get back i promise this has a point um the old man that you know that crazy old man in there yeah he tells the guy this parable about how this kid was sent to go find out the meaning of how to meaning of happiness remember this yeah yeah, yeah. this parable it's great Mm -hmm. and then the, the and then he's supposed to go to this wise man right and then so he goes to the wise, his wise man who has a castle on top of a mountain. And he gets in there, and the wise man is busy. He's not like a guru. He's got shit going on. There's people. It's a busy place in this castle. And then uh, the kid has to wait like two hours to talk to the wise man. And then the wise man finally comes over to him. And he's like, what do, you, what do you need, youngster? And he's like, I'm trying to figure out the meaning of happiness. He's like, you know what? I can tell you. But what I need you to do is go and uh, just I'll tell you in a little bit. But go, like, look around the place. It's yeah. beautiful. Go check it out. I'll talk to you in, like, two hours. So he go, And he says, but you have to hold this spoon with oil on it. You remember this? Yeah. It's a cool fucking story, man. Because then he's got to hold this. So he goes, okay. He says, don't drop the oil. But go check out the whole place. Yeah. So then the story goes, the kid go, wanders throughout the whole place, but he never really looks at any of it. He's looking at the oil because he was told to. Gets back to the old man. The old man's like, what was the place like? He's like, oh, well, he didn't really. He's like, but you got the oil. He's like, yeah, I was kind of looking at the oil the whole time. And then he's like, all right, now don't worry about the oil. Go check out the whole place. And he goes and checks out the whole place. It's fucking beautiful. He's, you know, heaven, right? Like yeah. flowers and gardens and I don't know, naked people. <laughs> and- <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But uh, it's beautiful. And then he gets back and he's like, how was the place? And he's describing and he's in, full of awe. And, uh, and then he's like, what's happening? And he looks down and he's like, what happened to the oil? He's like, oh, I got distracted by the place. And he's like, the meaning of happiness is to see the castle and not forget about the oil. 
And I don't know how a person would interpret that story, but I read that thinking that's go, go do your life, go follow your passions, your dreams, all this trite shit. If you can find a way to do all that, but still, if you're, I applied to family a little bit, like you don't forget your family, like the cats in the cradle story, you know what I mean? Where this guy's out there, he's busy, he's having a great time with life, he's, he's focused, he's passionate, but don't forget about also what's important yeah. at home. Oh, like yeah. the wife, well, the kids, they're the oil. They can go by the wayside if you're not careful. Yeah. Oh, and skateboarding, it's, yeah. it's right there. Trust me. I mean, I think, I think it's probably one of the hardest industries to actually like keep a good marriage just because of how busy you are. Yeah. Like, I mean, put it this way. Our team manager started in, I think, I think August. And this is the second time I've seen him. Just because he's been on the road. Yeah. He went to Barcelona and he went all over for two months and he went to Japan. So it's like, totally. you know, it's one of those things where it's like your job has this agenda of like, you know, you have to get this, this, and this, and this done. Yeah. And, you know, you want to get it done. Because and you got to be everywhere. Yeah. you So you, you literally have to be in all sorts of places. Like there's so many things right now, like besides, you know, the podcast is great, but it's like even like I'm out there putting completes together and I'm like, something has to give. Sure. So it's like. But you got to balance it. So it's but like, it's a gift and a curse because you love yeah. it, well, which yeah. is like that's the dream, so, right? To, you know, to love it and to have too much of something you love is like that's like the best problem, yeah. right? I, th- I think the big thing is just, you know, it's almost like a relief pitcher to where it's like at work they should have it to where it's like, hey, you know, like you have to take two weeks now. We're gonna like it's it's almost yeah. like hey, if, if, if you know my I mean if I owned a place or whatever I would I would do it to where it's like you know I I would see who's working their ass off and be like hey I'll you know really ask them how the home life's going and then be like right I'm gonna send you somewhere like get the hell out of here that's cool because it's like take care of them happy wife happy life so, sure and, and then a happy then the employee's better yeah and like I the mean, guy working's better and, and, and you know it's the same thing to where it's like I mean you, you, people don't really know the stress of like actually like having the family and then also working in skateboarding. When you work in skate, when you work on this, like this level, I guess the house guests are every day. Yeah. Every day. Oh, open door. kind of Open door. Yeah. Like our old team manager, Cole, who's now the, uh, one of the main guys that doing the marketing for element. He used to have a back house just for team writers. Right. He would have matters apps, Nassim, Alex Lawton, you know, yeah. all these guys, like stay, a mother-in-law yeah, that they can just hang like, out in. And they would stay at his back house. That's cool. For months on end. Right. And it was like, so. They, but they would come inside, eat his food, use his bathroom. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you, you look at like to where it's like, okay, how does the wife think of that? And right. it's like you constantly have someone there. And you're like, it's like. Right. It's a, it what is, do you think it, you do about that? Is there an is answer to this? You just have to draw boundaries, uh, basically? Just, no, I mean. Because I think you have to manufacture it. It's similar in comedy. Like it's a travel, it's a vagabond lifestyle yeah. too. I think and there's things you have to do on purpose. Yeah. I, I think it's just trying, trying to balance it and say no. And yeah. just kind of look at everything and really just tell I mean, fuck, I'll take days off. And I was like, I'm taking like last Friday. I was like, I'm leaving. And they're like, you're done for the day. I was like, yep, I'm out of here. And yeah. Like, or I said, I'm not coming in. And they're like, why? And I go, I've had enough, dude. Yeah. I'm fucking Monday through fucking Thursday. I'm, I'm burnt. Like, yeah. You want me to work Friday? I'll come in if you need me, but don't call me just to come in, just to come in. Like, yeah. I'm fucking busy enough. Totally. I need this day. I'm doing more than enough to get this place, you know, keeping it going. Does she work? So, your wife? No. Well, that's the other thing. And this position, you can't, she can't, she can't work. Yeah. So it's like, she can't work because of. Which feeds that you got to keep working, but you're on salary, I guess. Yeah. So there's, well, it's yeah. just more about like, you know, tomorrow I might fucking fly out somewhere. Right. Or like uh, there might be an emergency to where it's like, Hey, I got to deliver boards to somebody up in LA right now. Yeah. Or after work, just shit like that to where you're just like, you got to be able to like, I mean, I guess I guess she could, it, but it would it would just be too tough. Totally, it'd be too tough and not worth it because then it's like I'm already gone so so much. Then it's like now she's working when I'm home. Right, it just doesn't seem fair. So, but she understands to a certain degree. She gets it's lo- it's like the same thing. It's love hate. Yeah, it's right. like love what you do, love everything. It's fun, but fucking hate it. You're not around, and right. I get that too. So it's. There's no easy answer. Yeah, it's exactly, just like, dude. Yeah. It's fucking, it's, it's, this is the fucking industry that will eat you up and try to destroy your shit. Yeah. And I, you just have to stay strong and you have to lean on the others. You have to like literally ask for support from other people that you work with. Just because so. you need to be able to say, I can't do this. And you need to yeah. be able to have somebody that can fill that gap. Yeah. Be like, you can do this. Yeah. So that well, I don't just, have to. Well, just even the same thing of like, hey, I have to leave at five. I yeah. have to leave. 
got to get home because I have the family. I have to, you know. Which means one of you guys got to take over. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. just like if I can't, you know, if you, some of these guys will plan meetings at five o'clock and you're, you know, you're just looking and you just hit decline. You're just like, nah, dude, I can't. <laughs> I'm fucking good. Yeah. So, I mean, I skip meetings all the time. Yeah. It's just like, no, nah, I'm good. Because, I mean, even the meeting guys, I feel bad. They're stuck in meetings all the time, but I'm just like, I'm too busy. Yeah. Too busy to sit in here and talk about it. You guys do your thing. I'm going to go do this. That's so. awesome. And it's, it's funny because I'm a great husband because I don't have enough going on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them self props. <laughs> yeah. Shit. That was beautiful. Knowledge. I know. Just throw it in there. Yeah. Well, you guys didn't hear the second part. I'm a great husband because I don't have a lot going on. So. <laughs> I have I have plenty of time to devote to my wife because I got like three shows a week and then nothing to do all day. Some Uber, some Uber, drive some Uber, some Uber and then I'm like, yeah, what if I'm hitting her up. She's getting sick of me. She's like, don't you have something to do? <laughs> I want to go read a book. Yeah. So Matt, in terms of BT uh, Dubs, Matt, if you ever run out of time, and no, I wasn't good. trying to cut you off. Oh no no no, but yeah, but if team you, writers texting me, that's all. Yep. So cool. Who? Oh, yeah, uh, Dominic Walker. Dom. Oh shit. By the way, Evan Smith has been dropping a shitload of parts lately. Yeah, like, I'm how's, just, how's he not skater of the year? That <laughs> have you been watching his 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 uh? I don't know if footage? I've seen the most recent, but I've seen, hey, I've seen a bunch of his videos. He has so many rough cuts on Thrasher on YouTube. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Take you, a, you oh, he's you, unbelievable. It's it's one of those things where you don't want, forget your question. You yeah, right. Go and, and ask. No, no, well, go ahead. With I was gonna say Smith. you want you want to meet the come here, come here, Dom. Oh shit. oh, is this the dude? Yeah. What's up, What's Dom? Up, What's up, man? Good. Doing all right, man. Podcast. Say hi to the podcast. Oh, what's good, podcast? Hold on. Hold on. Talk a little um, more. The people need to hear that beautiful soul. It's Dominic voice. Walker in the building. What's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal? <laughs> what do you do for what do you do for element? I skate and I am a human being. There you there go. There it is. Fuck you out You're employed to be part. a goddamn human. Yeah. yeah. You know I mean? Good for First you, man. Foremost. All right. You know where they're at? Yeah. I'll get a hold of somebody. Yeah, There's some here. You want to turn the machine on? Some there. Nah, Hell special, yeah, special yeah, boards. Boss. Alex, that's Nolan. I'm Nolan. It's good oh, to meet yeah. you, man. Dominic, what's up? Yeah. Sweaty hands. No yeah, go turn yeah. the machine yeah. on and get your boards and cruise back in here. Cool. They'll, they'll Anytime talk to you, you want to come back on, your voice is beautiful. You're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Sick. No, but it's like, I mean, you, it's, it's, you know, you, you watch guys like Evan Smith and those videos and stuff, and it's great. But it's like, go on a trip with him. Go, I, like, you want to meet? I mean, do you remember? Hey, real quick, do you remember meeting Evan? I you met don't. Evan Smith. You don't remember meeting Evan. Because he was probably a young kid. Remember and... Yakima demo? Remember when that the fight? The Listen demo? Yep. With oh, Rob, shit. With fucking Rob right. Z and all those guys. And we had that. That's a great and, story. And, and I filmed it because somebody pulled a gun in the parking lot, the, and they got in a fight, it, and then there was a gun, so and then I don't know. I, I'm filming it all. Oh, my God. Can I tell that story real quick? I would love it. Okay. <laughs> this is so right, real awesome. Quick, that was a Listen demo. That's crazy. I forgot about that. Um, so there's a listen demo at the Yakima Skate Park. What year? Uh, oh, my God. Ish. I don't know. 2007? Cool. Yeah. 2006? Yeah, 2007. Not last year. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Yeah. Um, and they were late as fuck. There's a ton, tons of people at the skate park, a bunch of people who don't skate. Wondering at why the old Kennewick Park, the shitty one. Oh, this is – I'm talking about the Yakima Park. Yeah, the Yak, the old one. Oh, yeah, the Yakima Park. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now there's two. Yeah. You no, said Kennewick just three. Now. Oh, yeah. No. I said Kennewick? I just mean, now. Okay, yeah. Yakima, Yakima. The old – yeah. three. Now in Yakima, there's three, right. two Grand Line parks in that old forty. So Anyways. the original one with the eight foot quarter pipe that takes forever to get up to, right? With the really <laughs> yeah. mellow tranny. Yeah. Uh, so the listen guys are late as fuck. We there's an exchange student who we call Denmark because guess where he's from? Fucking Denmark. I don't um, get it. Nerdy guy, <laughs> su- but a super cool dude. And there's some like Latino wannabe gangsters or whatever, and they're like laughing at him and talking shit or whatever. And uh, so I'm doing like you know asshole skater shit like. They're kind of dangling their feet over a ledge, and I'm hitting their feet with my board like you're sitting at a fucking skate park. Like, what are you doing? Right. It's like you're talking shit to my friend. And they're they're on the listen team? And no. These are just some random, like, Hispanic wannabe gangsters gotcha, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so they start talking shit, and my friend Danny, who's like a hick, right? But right. he skates. He loves to fight, so he starts talking shit back to them. And uh, they start fucking fighting. Boom, boom, boom. It cuts this dude's eye. This dude runs to his fucking car, gets out a tire iron. Woo! But from, from uh, 300 feet away, you thought it was a gun. Ooh. It looked like a gun, dude. And we're like, oh, fuck. Dude, dude I think him. I was here for this. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, I filmed yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, so, Hey, tell him what to, hey, what, yeah, tell okay, him what to so, Google. So, uh, so they're fighting. Right, here's the f- so that's Dustin. He was calling out. This is the wannabe gangster trying to fight Dustin. This is my friend Danny. He's just going to sock him in the face. I've seen this. Yeah. Who's filming? Matt is. Right? You're filming this? Is he filming? 
Look at this. Boom. Is that? Let's rock it. Oh, he's already done. He's already done. I think his shoulder popped out or something. The kid? Yeah, watch. He's gonna like. The gangster? Yeah. But still, he's getting. He's saying no, 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 smack. don't. I don't want to. No, I'm thinking of a video where Julian fought somebody. I haven't seen that. No, but, That's awesome. But anyways, it looked like a gun. It was a tire iron. Yeah, so he goes out in the parking lot. <laughs> after was, that. But after was, that? After all that happened, they go out there, and they're still scrapping in the parking lot. There's a crowd. They got rushed, homie. And then it was at the same time as the Listen guys had showed up. <laughs> they're pulling out <laughs> of this, and they're and like, And they're this like, what's going Yakima. on out there? And they're like, oh, That's dude, awesome. the homie just pulled a gun on somebody. And so it was just like, what the fuck? Oh. But Evan Smith was at that demo. That's so funny. On Listen? He, yeah. Because because so he funny. stayed with uh, he stayed with Josh Mose at the next stop up there in Moses Lake. Wow, that's but awesome. If you watch, Ev, if you want to see some crazy fucking skateboarding, go go skate anything with Evan and watch him skate. And he could just like the shit that the shit that people film is great. You could make a whole like you know, just video of him just like dorking around and doing all this shit because you're just like what the fuck. But then you go into the other side of like, dude, this guy is actually like. He really cares about the environment. He really cares about kids. Like, kids are like, dude, I think Evan, like, Evan Smith is, like, my actual best friend. Kids, like, Can when, connect kid, with when kids meet him, they go away going, I, 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 I think I'm, like, really best friends with Evan Smith now. He doesn't – he's he, the opposite and, of big time. Yeah, and, he, and he, he'll skate by and just be like, I love you guys. And they're like, we love you, Evan. He goes, no, I love you. And those kids are, like, sitting there just like, I want to hang out dude, with Evan. Evan loves me. And you're just like – that's the guy. Yeah. Like, that's especially to a kid, man. Yeah. I mean, you have so many pros. A pro out you there. look up to that's like cool with you and, yeah. and not big time in you. Well, because I mean, that was a big pro symptom when you were a kid. It's like obviously like well, get the fuck out of the way, Grom. Yeah. So that, but that <laughs> Evan is like a hey, if anybody ever wants to go pro or wants to like really have a really far career with it, look at what Evan's doing and how he treats people. Yeah. Flat out. If you can do that, yeah, people accept you. Dom. Dominic, one of the nicest guys you guys just met. Same thing. He's he's a professional he, when he human. Shows up, he shows up. He handles what he's got to do, but he is very thankful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you're thanking me, and I'm I'm sitting here doing a podcast, and you're in there finding your boards and screening them yourself, and you're, he's gonna still walk up and be like, thanks, dude, thanks a lot. And I'm like, I didn't do shit. I just text you. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's the thing of like. You know, you have but this so is kind of goes back to the culture a little bit. Like you were talking about how that transition of building a new team was to kind of get a different vibe. Is that part of it? Just cooler human beings? Yeah. Just, well, I mean, on purpose. Well, you know, you sit in a van for ten hours at a time with yeah. somebody. If they suck, you don't want to ride in the van with. But them that anymore. and that was done on purpose. Yeah, You're saying there just, was like a transition. Well, it's just, yeah, it's just people that like. I mean, I think everybody on the team skates together, even as different as everybody is. To where it's like you know, we kind of have like the whole like. Dom, Nick, Julian, Ethan, like, you know, they all skate together and stuff like that on the weekends. And then you have Grayson and Tom skating together. Yeah. But at the same time, that's not like that. That's the cruise or whatever. But then they all skate together, too. Yeah. Because then it's like we, you know, we we go and do demos and it's just the funnest shit ever because everybody's just like, hell yeah, they're hyped. To it's like, you know, like, I mean, realistically, the only thing holding anything back is just traffic. Like, <laughs> You know, Grayson. Grayson lives in South County, and then Tom lives in San Diego County. Yeah. So they're they're gonna skate everything down in San Diego, and then everybody else lives up here in, you know, For sure. South LA or fucking North North uh, Orange County, and the difference between there sometimes could be two to three hours. Just to, you know, it's only thirty miles. Totally. But you're talking traffic. traffic, so oh, yeah. it's like, you're like, I want to meet up, but dude. <laughs> Fuck, I don't, you know, I'm trying to skate while it's daylight and it's already noon. Yeah. We're going to get there by three and then yeah. it's five, you know, so you just, you kind of stick with what you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fuck, dude. It, it, you got to watch Evan Smith's footy. It's just insane. I have. I just didn't know if I, if there's one I didn't see. But he could do like frontside 360 flip stale fishes or something. Maybe yeah. that's an exaggerate. But I mean, you just see a shit and you're like, well, what you, the? You, you, I mean, you, you, he's the same guy that you see in those con Like, so he's, he's the guy that's like the, he's the crowd favorite. He's like a skater, skater, whatever, whatever he you want to like, call him. He boosts. Like, like, he's such a mega but skateboarder. He's ATV. But he's then ATV. he's also the guy that can go skate the street league contest. Yeah. And he's skating those things. And it's like, and style for days, which yeah. cannot be overstated. Yeah. No. So, but I mean, if I you think look, I just overstated. If, that. You, but look at him skate a contest. You look at him skate a contest, and he's look. He's not looking at the obstacles or what he's gonna do next. He's looking across the course to see like, 
Oh, Shad's there. Oh, hell yeah. My homie's here and he's smiling. What's yeah, up, G? Yeah, and then yeah. it's like, Session. so then he's looking at him the whole time and he's not, he's not thinking about the trick. He's too busy thinking about like, I want to blow a Shad's mind. And the Shad's thinking, so they're, you know, yeah. so there's like, there's like, you have the skaters who skate contests that look at the ledge and don't care about anybody else. And then you have the other guys that are like, who's having fun. Like right. So, you know, it's, it's kind of the way you feel like it yeah. should be. I mean, do, do teach their own. If you want to win a contest, it's, it's amazing. Well, it's you like, know? There's no rules. No, yeah. totally. Well, it's like, you know, when you go to a skate park and there's a chick you want to do. Yeah. You're, you're locked in. On that chick. Yeah. Or yeah. you go to a skate park, you want to have a session and everyone's just killing it. You're like, yeah. oh, fuck, you know, feeding off each other. And, and to that. have the presence of mind, though, to be that much of a human being, to quote Dom Walker, uh, <laughs> to be that cool, to be at a at a contest where it matters that much and still have that mentality is impressive. That yeah. means it's part yeah, of the guy's a big core character. Contest. Oh, yeah. That can make you a millionaire, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. and it's, it's made a bunch of people. Right. It's you're talking, it changed people's lives. Yeah. So it's, that's so sick. I mean, I, I'd love to show up to a street league and just do a kickflip. Cause you get paid for showing up. Even if you don't win. Holy shit. Now, so, let's talk amazing. about what we're really here for, which is what do we got to do to get on the element? <laughs> <laughs> Can I send you a sponsor meet tape? Is that how, is that how it works? Hey, so there's <laughs> actually, you know, what's, you know what's really funny, though? Is cause it's Infiltrate. Like, it's like, do you want to go and jump down shit and make your money that way? Right. Because you're pro that way. Or you can come here and work and build complete. Isn't that awesome? And guess what? You still get the same perks of free clothes. Dude. You get the perks of fucking You're traveling. It. And you get the perks of also being paid. I think that's... So real quick, a pro skateboarder gets paid to travel, gets paid to skate, and then gets free shit. Working here, you get paid to travel, paid to skate, and you get free shit. Right, and you so, don't have to worry about so putting real it quick, video if part. you want to get on the team, just come work here. <laughs> there you go. Like, <laughs> I'm going to send you a resume. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, it's the same it's thing. It's got a lot of like, restaurant jobs well, it's, on it's it. It's just so. one of those things where it's like, fuck, I mean. No, if, you if nailed it, though. Well, man. If, you're, if you're that passionate and you think you could be a part of something, I mean, you, you look at some of these kids, like the kid in there making the boards. Yeah, that's some kid at the local skate park that we just kind of like, hey, what's up? Yeah. And he's just like, you know, hey, can now I he help? Now he to work for just, Well, just kind of like, hey, can I help out? He went from, like, helping out to now he's working over 40 hours, making completes for BAM and shit like that. And then, yeah. And then it's like, I mean, he's meeting all these people to where it's like, hey, we got to screen these boards. BAM's coming in to sign them. He's just like, all right, cool. Like, <laughs> And then he's like, same thing to where it's like the, the guy he works with is actually Nigel's little brother. So we yeah. have Nigel's little brother that works here. Yeah. So between the two of them, they screen all the boards and. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know, you got this board or whatever, but did you know, like, Kiati Houston screened this one? Yeah. Like, yeah, that, yeah, kid's yeah. Fucking, that kid's a G, so. I don't know, I mean. You get but to you got him. to, you got to, that is not something to, to a young skateboarder as far as, like, my memory. Yeah. I wasn't smart enough to think that any of, like, it. to me it was, like, it's so far be reached. a pro yeah. or open a skate shop. Yeah. That was, like, my two ideas yeah. of how to be in skateboarding. Yeah. But it's like it's so much more vast than that. So much, so many more possibilities. Well, and you, Matt, you crushed it. You did it. <laughs> you fucking paved the path. Well, it's just it's just one of those things where it's like everybody always needs help. So it's like yeah, you know, I, I that's a lesson in life, a, man. A long time ago, DC came to Portland and did a fucking after it was like their world world tour and they did a demo, but they also had like a best trick contest at the end, and I think this was like two thousand four, two thousand three. Because Big Black was there and Rob Deerdick and I remember meeting Lindsey Robertson and Greg Myers was there and Ryan yeah. Smith. Holy shit! So I never I, heard of these guys. No, I, so. I, <laughs> so, so I, like, I got my poster signed and all that shit, but then it was like, you know, it's it was so much bigger than. But it was like the guys that were taking apart the skate course. I, you know, my yeah. friends were like, "Hey, my mom's ready to go. Let's go." And I'm like, "Well, hold on, just wait. Like, I want to wait." And they're like, "No, everybody, like the team's left." And I go, "Yeah, yeah, but I want to wait." And they're like, "What?" And I'm like. Well, I just want to see if these guys need any help moving the ramps. There you go, man. And it was just that little thing of like, hey, can you guys yeah. help? They're like, yeah, if you guys like, yeah, we'd love to like, just move this to there. So yeah. it's, like, it's the same thing to where it's like, I think with social media and that there are so many skate contests out there. Like, I mean, you can even go as big as like do toward X games. Like half those people that are there, they're, they're volunteering. Yeah. Like one of the, one of the first guys. So do tour Las Vegas, 2011, me and my buddy Ryan Farley went out there with Darrell Stanton to skate the contest at the Hard Rock Hotel. Darrell's so sick. And it was cool. And then so we're there, and then we we end up, you know, 
having a booth or whatever in the village. And then we end up meeting this guy and we're just like, Oh, what are you doing? He's like, Oh, I'm, I'm like working with dudes. Or we're like, Oh cool. How's that? And he's like, it's all right. Like, I'm like, are you getting paid? He's like, no, I'm not getting paid. So I'm like, Oh, you're volunteering. How many hours do you have to work? He goes, I have to work eight hours a day. And I'm like, Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, so did they fly you here or what? And he goes, no, I took a bus here. I'm like, I go, well, they at least putting you up. He's like, nah, I'm like yeah. staying on the far side. of the street. So I'm like, damn, this guy's doing everything to be a part of skateboarding. Right. Yeah. It's passion. Okay. And he hands me his business card and all this shit. And his name is Daniel Cabrella or Cabrera, whatever the fuck it is. And And his name is Andrew Reynolds. And and on social media, his Instagram name is Shredcorn. Well, if you look at that Instagram name, he is now the social media guy for Volcom. And nice. takes all the he goes on all the skate trips, so he's shooting photos of Grant Taylor, yeah, that yes. Steve got Rodriguez photos and all that shit of him out there in uh, Brooklyn Banks was this guy that we randomly met on the streets. Yeah, he was just trying everything to be a part of skateboarding. Yeah, but he wasn't sure how far he wanted to be a part of it. Right, but at least he got there to meet the right people. Because you yeah, go to those man. things and you're like, oh, Chris Ortiz is running this thing. Like that's cool, and then. He kind of can help, you know, people can help connect the dots of like, oh, yeah. this guy runs this and this guy runs this. So you just like, you just well, say hi and be cool and get their, you know, get their name and talk to them. Yeah. It's and, very and easy. Full disclosure, it's like secret motivation. This is one little way that like, cause we both, we like, we're, he's in the acting world, comedy world. I do comedy. We still skate. This is like our own little scam to maybe get to be in skateboarding again. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? Fine. Just well, to do a podcast, talk yeah, to people. Yeah, an excuse to say, hey, you want to come out? Yeah. Let's talk well, about some shit. You know, yeah. like finding a way to be a part of something you love. If you love it, just yeah. go be a part of it. Who It'll care, happen. Who cares if anybody's listening or not? Just no, do, no, do, yeah. Do yeah it's we fun. get to fun. visit with Matt, who yeah. we haven't seen in a couple years. Yeah, dude. We haven't seen you in fucking three yeah. or four years yeah. now. So I think I lived in San Clemente at yeah, the time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So now I'm up in Costa Mesa. But but it's a way to be involved. It's a way to follow. an like. There's nothing for me anymore in skateboarding where it's like, um, a career idea anymore. Yeah. I just love skateboarding. And if you always have that mentality and you stay in it, yeah. anything, to be honest, like like anything in life that you follow with that type of intensity, will f- something will come of it where you can get swept up into that world and make something out of it. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you still get time to skate? <laughs> I'm so busy. Yeah. Um, my daughter. How tries- many tricks can you do? Fuck, <laughs> oh, dude. I put it this way. My fakie flips, my go-to trick to like, okay, I can like, skate today my fakey flips they i don't even know if they flip anymore man <laughs> they kind of spin i'm trying you to. close your eyes and hope yeah, just, and then hey i think yeah I, I, I mean i get home and you're just you're just exhausted at yeah. you ha- it's just i don't know i mean it's it's one of those things where we're trying to skate more I yeah am, and she's trying to help me to skate so sure. it's just just fucking sounds like work-life balance is yeah, just a exactly. thing right now <laughs> hey you're crushing it at work but yeah it's a it's a it's a learning process but for I mean, a lot of people. Same thing. I mean, just being here. I mean, you, you wouldn't even be surprised how many people in here that you know without knowing. Like you're talking Andy Jenkins is the art director. You know all the girl logos for the last 10 years plus? Yeah. Well, he did them. Oh, wow. Um, do you guys remember that video, of Thrasher Prevent This Tragedy? Yes. Cole Matthews is here. He's the one who filmed and edited that. Okay. Like if you look at like old like uh, Baker videos and uh, Shorty's videos, Dave Huang is here he's rtm so it's like everybody has a history with something right. they just figure out something else like and, and it's a small community right well yeah. it's i mean super small yeah small like, world you know like it, it's one of those things that's like you know you'd be surprised somebody you know you've never heard of being hired you're just like wait because you can ask around and be like oh i know that guy or that guy worked here or that guy you know right he knows somebody that i know and if not you can find out right. really really and fast. reputation is super well, important right because yeah. if you're a, if you're a pile, they're gonna know. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to you don't want to have a bad reputation. So yeah, you gotta you gotta chill on the drinking, especially because yeah. that can fuck it right. all up. So. Segway into Bam. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's ba- He's making a comeback. There's been a, a bunch of videos kind of chronicling not his comeback, just like you know his story is kind of well known. If you want to know it now, yeah, I like, mean, it's all over Vice. S, yeah. S is giving him a shoe next year. Yeah. Like he he was, went to what Europe to learn how to skate again. Yeah, he, yeah, he had <laughs> which to, is yeah. fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, he went to the best place to skate again. It's, it's the, well, you know what the I, if you don't get to skate as much as part, like I mean, he had the perfect. I wouldn't even say excuse, but he had the it, you know just being crowded and shit like that. It's like you know he yeah. goes to the skate park and he gets bombarded by kids. He became a star to where it's a like mainstream. You, you know, star. you become so famous, you can't go somewhere and skate. Yeah, because you just get bombarded. So you go to so Scotland. It's like, well, just I mean, you try. And all that shit, but it's like, it's so hard 
to be like I used to be able to do that. Yeah. Like if you look at like what like jump off a building and like this is my element and that like all the stuff that he was doing, and then for him, I mean for him to be where he's at now, yeah. it's hard to be like it's so it's hard. frustrating. Well, it's right? just moti- your motivation. You're just like it's so e- it's like ridiculously easy just to skate within 10% of your ability. Right. And just be like, oh, I'm not doing the other 90%. Mm-hmm. I Especially don't want to get hucking. Hurt. You get older. Yeah. You get heavier. Vehicle's different. And yeah, you don't exactly. want to huck. Well, it hurts to huck. I mean, Donnie Barley's one of our sales reps here, and he comes down and he'll skate for a little bit, but he, you know, he's just, I look at him and he's just like, man, I, I used to be able to do this. And, I, you know, you can kind of see the battle in his head as far as like, you know, what he's going through is like, I used to be able to like, you know, look at what you used to do, Alex, like right. the shit you used to do. Could you do it? Like uh, you can kind of do it still. No, right? I'm not jumping downstairs though. Yeah. That's but, but sure. I mean, you could still go out there and skate and get a good session. Oh yeah. Okay. Now sure. imagine, imagine you go into the park and you're just like, fuck dude, I want to grind this. It's just even like 50, 50 in this ledge. And you're just like hesitant. Yeah. Like that's the shit that that's yeah. the level where we're like, you know, everybody's getting at to where you're like, fuck dude, I used to be able like, you're unsure of yourself. Like, can I still do that? Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys on the team have like, uh, you know, how sports guys have like physical therapists, nutritionists, and athletes. And shit. Do you guys have people who say you gotta let's let's tr- we want you to be skating as long as possible? So let's. I don't. I mean, is that a thing? Not only in like the big contests, like street league and X Games, they have like they have actual guys there that are like they're there to. I mean, there's there's the two go to guys, right? So you have Doctor G up here in like Costa Mesa, Newport, which is like. You know, Dominic is actually sponsored by him. That guy is actually like, hey, you know, like, I just want to be a part of what you're doing. So he gets, like, free, like, you know, free therapy, I guess you could say. But then at the same time, that's the same guy that's, like, if you drive through his parking lot, like, Nigel's there with his Lamborghini. But then you're talking even, like, basketball players are there. Oh, shit, And, like, football players are there. Sports specialists. You're you're talking, like, he is, like, the top dog. Yeah. Like, that type of shit to where you're, like, you, you know, even even as far as like Moto X guys and like everything, you, you like you could walk through that. If you knew everything about people in the world and you just sat at that parking lot, you'd be like, that guy's that. That guy's this. He's famous for the, you know this same shit. Yeah. So it's like you know he he doesn't get out and travel as much, but then you have the guy like uh, uh, Dr. David down there in San Clemente, and he he actually goes to the skate contest and the skaters will fly him there. If they're just like, hey David, I, you know I know Ryan Desenzo like flies him places sometimes where it's like, hey. I want you there for this contest because my leg's kind of being weird and it's worth having him there. And putting Dude, him up what a new hotel. era, man. Yeah. So it's worth the it, era. So. Of, yeah, it is. And you like, and sorry, I'm just, I'm a vice peace nerd. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's great. No, but a uh, Neen's thing about yeah. like just caring about your body. Like you realize, of course it's fun to be like hash and yeah. gnarly and drink and shit. And then you get like all of a sudden you're 20, usually like seven or eight. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, everything hurts. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, <laughs> and then, like, if you eat healthy and take care of your body, especially staying light, man, that's the, you know, like, it's so easy to pack on weight as you get yeah. older. Well, trust me, one of one of our skate trips is not, like, the ones I do, they're not, they're the hardest on anybody, I think, because it's, we just go. We just go full speed and yeah. we skate so hard. And then it's like, there's always beer. And then. Uh, where are we sleeping tonight? Which backyard? Where is it? No hotels. And then we so do fun. that. I just, and then we, we both just got jealous. And then, and then we wake up <laughs> and you're just like, fuck, we got to keep going, guys. Yeah. Like, I mean, we just did a trip back in August. We went up to, where'd we go? We drove from here up to Kevin Kowalski's house, stayed up there on the Oregon coast, went up to Portland, and then loop back down from Portland all the way to the coast, and then the coast all the way down to uh, SF. But you're talking five to six parks a day and you're yeah. not and you're not Holy you're not you're not shit. talking like little parks you're talking okay we went from like lincoln city to kevin's backyard to florence to reed sport and it's like the shit that we're getting there is like it's like all right that's worthy of a video like that's worthy yeah. of being in the park they're throwing and down and it's like so you have a van full of like you know 10 guys five of them are going to jump down this shit some guy yeah. then you have the kids that are learning how to do this then you have the filmer photographer shit like that but it's like there is no time to eat. like you like if you want to if you want to eat healthy and be healthy on these trips it's like fuck it's not it's, easy it's work it's, it's yeah. like, effort it's you have to like you have to have like an own travel bag of like oils and sh- like like I would want to say I'm kind of healthy I'm like I'm, that's sure. a lie never mind <laughs> <laughs> I fucking bring lotion for my feet okay so that sure. my feet don't crack because when we're on the road 
and Grayson is doesn't he shows up with one T-shirt for a ten day trip. Yeah. No socks, no pants, and then he's borrowing socks from you, and you only bring enough for fucking one a day, and then yeah. all of a sudden you're wearing like four a day. Then you start looking at you didn't change your T-shirt all week. Yeah. And then you're still wearing the same underwear, and you're swimming in legs. Oh. Your feet and all this shit is gonna you know it starts like. You have athlete's foot going on. Your feet start cracking. So it's like, yeah. All right, look at, so I always try to like, before I leave, stock up on like ibuprofen, lotion, just shit like that. Yeah, to where it's yeah, like, yeah. what do we need to kind of like stay stool deep? softener? Just yeah, just something to stay. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, because I mean, <laughs> you never know when you get clogged it's up. It's like it's like you know we're like looking for a place to camp, and then we realized we didn't eat dinner, so we're in a fucking Dairy Queen parking lot. Yeah, the van's too big to go through the drive through. The drive through is the only thing open. You're trying to bang on the window to be like, the van doesn't fit, but we're hungry. <laughs> so then they let that's it. That's its own like, problem. Shit like that to where you're just like. So you, but but then, you know what? That's romantic. Yeah. You say that, and that's I want that. So, like, so what? That sounds amazing. Because then you're eating Dairy Queen, and you're like, it's fucking yeah, that's amazing, healthy. dude. You're camping out. And then you, you know what? You're skating light. every day, though. So yeah. you're keeping well, your body fucking burning this sure garbage fuel. Yeah, but it's, still, man, it's like, what, that's awesome. What you're describing sounds a lot like the trips we would do, you know, riding for like. Yeah, it's like nothing changed. Mosaic. Yeah. But what is the. Is the difference because when I was a kid, I thought you know you're staying in a hotels, right? Uh, you're giving you per no. diem. You're getting to pay, you're getting to eat all this fucking sushi. Well, and here's, lobster. so here's the difference: it's you're doing exactly what you're doing as a kid. When you go on these trips, like for me, it was like we'd go to Portland, Lincoln City, and Seattle. The shitty thing for me, I never went east to M Montana. I never did that or Boise or any of that stuff. But you're doing the exact same things. You're meeting other skaters at the parks, and. If you're not meeting anybody, you're sleeping in your fucking car. I mean, I remember sleeping in the Glen, ha Glen, uh, Glen Haven Skate Park and some gangsters walking by trying to rob us in the middle of the night. Damn. Shit like that to where it's like. You slept at the park. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Corey McCowan, and I think Justin was there. But it was just all this sort of shit going on, right? So it's, you're doing the exact same thing. And then it's like when you become a part of a team, yeah, there is the option to do a hotel. Yeah, there is, an op there is the option to do that. How many trips do you want to do this year? Because there's only so much money. Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. like, well, fuck. If we can use all the money that we're spending on these fancy restaurants and on these fucking hotels, if we can use that money on fuel for the van and fuel for you know beer for us, <laughs> then we can go on three or three or four more trips this year. That's so awesome. it's like you know sure. when you start adding it up, it's like okay, two guys to a hotel room, you're talking 150 bucks a night. You bring ten guys, so that's five rooms. Yeah. So five times 150 bucks, that's just one night. You're talking, you know, six or 750, 800 bucks right there, right? So, yeah. And that's, that's how that's that's, money that, for Hey, real quick, whatever, real right? quick, that is enough money to get me on a trip for the gas. That's gas money right there for a whole trip. Fuck. So it's like, okay, how many more trips do you want to do? Where Man. do you want to go? So you have to play the game of like, hey, if they're, if they're only giving you $5,000 this year to travel, Okay, how can we make those five thousand dollars really stand? So right. it's like, let's go to El Paso and let's sleep in this dude's backyard and this back. So it's like, sure. we go to El Paso, we we stop off and we stay at the Hell Bowl. The next night we stay at Jaime's Bowl, which is the the Wavo. So we stay there, and then we just do that, and then we drove all the way back Hell Bowl again and back. So it was like no hotel rooms six days. Then we go to Portland. Are you all on all these skate trips? On um, on any trip that's happening, are you on most no, of them? No, no, because it's like the same thing, like. You family know. and shit well i mean yeah you balance that but it's just like different skaters yeah it's like, and it's, plus what do you know yeah it's like grayson and tom and gregson just went to australia i've never been to australia why the fuck would i go to australia <laughs> to help show them spots sure I just don't to know be the there spots. really it'd be for you more than yeah, anything yeah. else. yeah it would be for me to learn this shit but yeah. I, I mean i don't i don't need to be there yeah so like any realistically anytime there's a trip to portland or seattle i'm usually on them because it's just like where are we staying? Who are we staying with? What yeah. spots? Who do you know? Who can you call? Like same thing. Like um, that Nick Garcia cover of the backside nose blunt, or not cover the inside contents, the backside nose, or yeah, I think it was backside nose blunt or front blunt. Done what? On Garfield, the bank to wall. I think it was backside nose blunt. Let's see. I'll pull that up real quick. So anyway, he back he, nose blunt that rail. No, the fucking the the Garfield. <gasps> oh, the, the, the wall right. The wall right. Fuck. Yeah. Didn't they? Uh, didn't they skate stop that? Didn't they put a fence up? I think Across I just saw. Yeah. Yeah. Th but this is that's like, a sad day. So man. you're talking. Fuck. When that's unbelievable. This? He back nose blunt the top. Yeah. He ended up getting pulled so, by a fucking motorcycle. So do you remember? Oh. That, so do you remember that kid Dylan Piper? 
Do you yeah, remember yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chenoweth Kid, like, hung out in Chris Park and Carlin? Yeah. I'm calling everybody in Seattle. I'm calling B-Nut, and B-Nut's like, yeah, I can. He's still homies with Jake. They play music together. Oh, Dylan does? Yeah. Dylan's, I hang out with Dylan's Dylan every while well, I used to. So there's the photo of Nick doing the trick, and in the foreground is yeah. Dylan's motorcycle and him looking up at it. So Nick, Dylan towed him? Dylan towed him. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Shout out Dylan. Dylan. Yeah, shout out Dylan. Miss you, buddy. You're a good kid. You see it? Dylan's a funny motherfucker. I like Dylan. Yeah, it's he's, nice. a, he's, a, he's a weird good guy. Seriously. And I mean that in the best way possible. Too. Okay. Um, while you're looking it up, random, random, uh, you ask questions and then they might be terrible. Uh, Matt, what's your, what's your zodiac sign? What the f- Oh, I'm fucking Gemini. And do you care? No. Right. Nice. Good. <laughs> That's the answer I wanted. He's like, actually, <laughs> just starts to devalue everything he said because of, <laughs> because of how your beliefs no, in you Zodiac. can't believe in any of that shit. Who cares? Add a guy. Add a guy. Did you go to church ever? Uh, nah. Nah, fuck good. church, right? Yeah, just did you ever go to church? You grew yeah, up in church? Yeah, I did yeah. a long, long time ago. Yeah. Did your parents make you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just people People ruin everything that they, you know. Right. When, it when, could be cool, when, but. When, when too many people get involved with something, if they're not all kind of on the same page, then it just becomes a shit show. Yeah, man. Like anything. To yeah, dude. Like, you know. I'm with you on that. That's, I mean, my, my go-to, like everything, my event crew is so small. For the for the amount of things that we do, yeah, I could delegate it, but I'm sure. just like, I trust these three people. I'm gonna work with these three. It's people, more potent, so. yeah, so potent ability. Did you find that photo? I'm not finding this photo. I'm finding like everything but that. It was. It, I mean, I don't even remember when it was. Back yeah. nose blunt on the top of that shit. That's you sure it's back nose blunt, or it could have been a front blunt. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it was back nose blunt. I'm just seeing. Do you have the magazine? No. Oh, I I have every magazine. I my job is to also archive everything. So every single skateboard that we make, I have. That's every single dope. magazine in that, here or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I have it out in the warehouse. Yeah. Every single um, magazine that we come out with, or every single magazine that has anything element in it, we have. So you're talking '80s thrasher shit like that. Holy when shit. when's Nigel coming out with his Nike part? Give I, us the scoop, man. I he, believe March. Oh, for real? February or March? Because that's. I didn't shoe, know there was an answer to that. Yeah, his shoe is supposed to drop around that time. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, here you go. Backside knows what. Oh, Jesus. And there's Christ. Dylan. Piper. And that's Dylan? Yep. Fuck yeah, man. That's awesome. So he towed him in. Oh, my God. That's so gnarly. So, yeah, that was. I mean, he posted that December 26th. That's unbelievable. God. You've been, you've obviously been there, right? No, Garfield? I tried Garfield. kickflip board slide down that. That was one of my last big attempts Dumb, at another. That handrail? Like, yeah. No, no, not that one. Down the, 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 the marbly or whatever shit. thing. Yeah, yeah. kickflip backside board slide. Oh, okay. And uh, never landed it, yeah. but it was a big day for me. That's a, such a nice While well, I was skating with really good skateboarders, so and I'm like, I should try something cool. Uh, it's fucking hardish. But it was me. cool, though. I didn't get hurt. I didn't land. I got wrecked, but I didn't get hurt. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You but just... I landed on it a few times, and then uh, it was balls. I'd, I hadn't landed that down anything, but I was like, oh, I'm with, I'm with like, who was I? I think I was skating with the ATM guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um, I can't remember this kid. He was just like he was a skinny black kid with gnar like cool lanky style. I can't remember his name. He was in the on deck video. You remember Not that Brandon kid that Taylor? full cabbed? No, he was taller. He like kick flipped and then nolly full cabbed. In that um, friend section yeah, in on no, deck. No, Anyways, no, I was skating Brandon with Taylor. those guys <laughs> and they were throwing down heavy shit. And I'm like, yeah. I got to do something here. I got to hold my own. Didn't land it, but I don't know. I was proud that I even tried it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's well, a big I mean, day. It's the same thing where it's like trying to teach kids nowadays to be a part of like, you know, on our, on our same thing on our last trip. At least you were there supporting the scene, right? You were oh, there. So fun. You were you were there, right? We 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 take kids on trips and nowadays, and it's like like I mean, the big one we're skating Kevin's backyard, and two of the kids Kevin who Kevin Kowalski okay, and two of the oh, look at that Dan Rogers is calling me. Who's that? You guys don't remember him? No. Boardside King? No. Uh, old Birdhouse Pro. Oh, okay. So, but anyway, we... Uh, <laughs> look we, up Dan Rogers. Yeah, Note yeah. to self. Uh, he's not, I mean, look at him. Yeah, he was one of the main guys. In the like America. in the VN days? Or before, be- prior? Before that. Oh, okay. 90, like early 90s. Gotcha. That was right after the end. I came yeah. skateboard. Yeah, the, 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 the end was like 99. I'm talking like 94. You're forgiven. Thank you. But but anyway, so like we're skating this bowl or whatever, right? So we're skating it, and the two kids that are on the trip are inside playing pool and hanging out, and they're supposed to be out there, like yeah. kind of just like, hey, be a part of it, skate Fuck with us, yeah, man. And then it fired like, up for people well, when they just, land, shit. just like, hey, and they're like, oh, it's too hard to skate. And I'm like, well, we're gonna skate, skate harder, shit. Just come skate, just come be a part of it. Yeah. Like if, if you're not gonna try a trick, 
fucking look out for cars. If you're not going to look out for cars, sweep the spot. If you're not going to do that, be the board guy. If you're not going to do that, shut up and get water. I don't really understand not wanting to be, especially when somebody's hucking down something or when there's a session. Like, I want to see it. Usually I want to skate it. But if I can't skate it, I definitely want to be there and be hyped. Well, I mean, I you just, I mean, well, you have a whole new breed of kids that are only trained to be at a skate park. Let's talk about this generation. So I would love to get into this generation well, you, talk. You, well, you, yeah, you, you have the kids that just like the only things, the only things that they know are that skate park. And yeah. I, you know, and I don't know if it's a Southern, I think it is. Cause think there's skate parks everywhere, which was not quite that way when we started. Well, I think there was shitty skate parks popping up every once well, in a while, but Southern now there's Cali- plazas everywhere. Southern California, I think is one of those weird places yeah. where kids are able to skate, get really good. But never like to me, it was always like, "Hey, what's over there?" Totally, it was for, always part of the fun. For these kids down here, it's kind of now it's like they're content with just staying at their park and getting really good at their because they have everything they need. Yeah, they have this. But it, but but it's like, um, you know, I, I even like I don't know. I, I I really think it's a Southern California thing to where it's like, sure, everybody's trying to get here, but the people that are here aren't trying to go see what else is out there. Hmm. Like, there's a lot of kids down here that like. I mean, I'm talking 18 to 20 year old kids that I'm like, oh, have you ever been to Phoenix? Or no, I'm like, it's only six hours. What you never gone skate it? No, I'm like, you yeah. ever gone to SF? Nah. It's funny you mentioned Phoenix. Like, I was just in Phoenix and just mind blown by how good of a skate town that place oh, is. Oh, for sure. Because everything is new and crisp. Like it's like it's kind of like a feels like a brand new city. Yeah. Like it feels like it just popped up and they just and all the architecture is exactly what you would think a nice metropolitan, but it's clean. Ugh, I was just yeah, bone no, Phoenix skate cool. boners well, they, the whole I time. Mean, they, they, they do the Phoenix I uh, kickflip stuff. Phoenix AM out there, and they have Cowtown, so it's just like the, yeah. between those. I mean, same thing. It's like, do you think? Uh, I mean, here, here's a perfect example of like, you want to get back to the event shit and like sure. kind of how I like look at Cowtown, right? So they were just, they were just a skate shop. What you know? They're What's, skate shop. What is this place? Cal- Cowtown Skate Shop. Oh, where? So they're in like Tempe, and they're they're all. I mean. So they're the ones who run Phoenix Am. Okay. Which is like one of the big contests. Like it's a huge production. For sure. Like when you go there, you're just like, whoa, this is fucking amazing. Yeah. Dude, this is a skate shop is putting this on. That's awesome. So it's like at the park. They they want it to be more than just a skate shop and they did they, they grew their scene so well to where it's like they're they have a scene, but now they're how so they grew their scene so well, they brought skateboarding there. Well, I mean it's always been there or whatever, but they, they helped grow it. But then to them, it's like, how can we make it bigger and better? Yeah. That's the thing. It's always like, like you can do a contest. That's great. But how can you make it bigger and better? Yeah. Like you, how do you justify bringing up a kid like a Corey McCowan and helping him be really good if you don't take him to those really good things or bring the really good things to him? So it's the same thing. Like, okay, if you get skateboarding to a certain level, how do you get it to the next? Like, what 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 are you gonna do to support your scene? Well, and that's what I was asking you about that whole that creative part of of the events you might want to yeah. do, like that idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. where, where you get to. Well, I don't have my thing is I don't have a to me I I'm like a fuck I'm like lost I'm like I don't have a scene down here. It gets heavy. <laughs> well, I don't have a scene down here. Yeah. I don't have anybody I skate with. like. I don't have oh. my crew. My fucking crew still. Well, you're Washington. sitting in the middle of Element Skateboards. Yeah, you're 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 surrounded by my crew that one I of the fucking gnarliest crews the guys the I love to skate with are still back home in Washington. And when I go back there, I fucking I skate and I'm just like yes. Name names. Who are we talking about? You're talking Zach Seuss, Joe Hernandez, oh, yeah. shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you Omar know, Guzman. Yeah, Omar. I mean. Same thing to where you're trying to get Omar down here, and it's like, dude, you got to enter this, you got to do this. You're like, Bro. you have potential. It's raw. Yeah. You look good. It's just like, and he came down last year, and I'm like, introdu- like I'm just like, hey, you know, he just hits me up randomly. He's like, I'm in town. I'm like, cool, come down. And I'm like, come to this thing. He shows up at this thing. I'm like, hey, it's my friend. This is Tony Tave. And Omar's just like, what, what? the fuck? Hang <laughs> he's like hanging out with Tony Tave. Then he's hanging out with Thomas Campbell. Then Patrick Melcher's there. And then he's just meeting all these guys. And then it's like, Nick's there, and then fucking uh, Julie, all all of our team riders are there to support it, and then Ray Barbie's there, and he's just like, this is fucking crazy. And yeah. I go, homie, you could be a part of all of this. Like, what's holding you back? Like, get here. But it's like, same thing to where, you know, you have to do justice to, like, you have to build your scene up and do the best you can to, like, let, you know. I, I, I don't know where we went wrong. When we all left Tri-Cities, it's just kind of like, <sighs> Yeah. I go back there now, and I'm just like, damn, you guys let the skate shop close. Like, Is Mosaic done? Mosaic's, Mosaic's done. done. What's Josh Mose up to? He's in Moses Lake. 
He still, he still has a shop in Moses Lake. Yeah, right? I offered him a job. <laughs> he didn't take it. Yeah, he denied me. I huh. offered. I offered. It, it was a rough. One. It was just like we were trying to start summer camps in Boise. Yeah, we had a really strong connection with Albertson's family and this stuff, and I was just kind of like. Between Josh Moe's and Marshall up in Seattle, I was just like, hey, you know, this is what we're trying to do. Like, it would be a – you would run it till you're dead. Yeah. Like, this is like – you know, A camp Yeah. It'd in be, Boise. It would be a Boise because the mountains are there and yeah. they want to do a skate camp. You know, people come to our skate camp and they look at it and they're just like, this is fucking – I mean, if you've never been. Yeah. You're talking you're a mile up in the air. You're up in Sequoia National Park. Yeah. There's giant trees everywhere. There's a fucking lake. Oh, my God. I awesome. regret not going. I got asked to go with, like, Chris McFarlane and Justin and them. Yeah. And just like, oh, my God. And, and everybody's going. always like, how can we get back? And yeah. so it's like, I'm on – You're. I've been going since 2004. <laughs> and I don't miss a year. And, and I don't the, want to. And this is YMCA Skate Camp? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like – but it's just like the same thing to where it's like – you know, I moved on from that scene to help build up the skate camp scene and all that other shit. But then it's like everybody back home. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's just like the scene died. It like, well, everybody kind of left a little bit. Yeah, first because of all. Chris McFarland moved to Seattle. Yeah, Corey Walker got married, has a kid. Yeah, mo- he's in Kentucky now. What? Moved to Kentucky. Wow. He moved to like the south. That. Holy yeah. Shit. I only see. I Some only of them see went th- down to Portland. I mean, Ed and Jake went down to Portland. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's but right. I mean, that's but the, but here's the thing. That's always been standard. But like even like. I mean, you're talking like before us, like Mario Garcia and Josh Henry. And even before that, like Jeremy Jervis and stuff like that, you're talking like that's what all the guys did. They always would like, you know, if you grew up in that town, you always went to Seattle or Portland. You always chose one of the two. Mm -hmm. So it was like that's very symptomatic of probably any small town scene in the in the U.S. But then the next kids, the next generation would always pick up the scene. Oh, and there's no next generation. You're saying, well, I'm looking at the next generation, which is like, I mean. Omar, that's you guys and your friends. <laughs> that's where I'm like, dude, like what happened? Like, yeah. Well, like you guys had the shop. You guys rode for the shop. Like what? Else? Like it's kind of like, do you think it could be internet? Like, it's like that shirt, thing? have you ever heard the shirt tails thing? My dad would always tell me like the oh, red and coattails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? We built up the scene because the same thing happened in Yakima. We built up yeah. the scene with Midstate, but then all the Midstate guys left. Midstate closed down. And the guys who are there now were just the little groms. Yeah. And who never did any of the work with like organizing trips and stuff. So now they're just. Yeah. But it's the same thing where you, you take them on the trips and you, you know, without telling them to learn, you need them to learn on their own. And if they don't, that's, that's fine too. But it's like, I mean, it's the same way. Like, you're, I, I'll go back even to like 2000, 2001. And it was like, okay, learning how to skate and all that other shit and like going out and skating and then. You know, all my friends were getting good, like Alex Schmally, Craig Clayton, and shit like that. And it's like, we're starting to do like things that I'm like looking at, and I'm like, fuck, dude, nobody's filming. So I'm like, fuck, dude. And I'm like trying to jump down stuff too with them. I'm trying to keep up with these yeah. kids. So then it was like, fuck it, dude. So it's kind of like nobody wants to bow out, but it was like, fuck it. I saved money. I picked it, up a camera. It I picked up a camera, and then I started filming. And then it was like when these guys would slack. Like, cause I, my favorite was like, okay, it was like chief Joe eights there, whatever it is. And it was like, all right, I'm the filmer now. But then it was like, all right, well, I still want to have a part. And then, so I'm like, fuck it. I'll, I'll fucking skate this rail. Yeah. So I just went there and skated the rail and you know, one camera I had to do it twice. So I get the tw- two angles and shit. Yeah. And then I told them all I did, you know, it was just a simple board side, but it, yeah, you're a motivated guy. I was just a filmer. And then Bro. they're all just like, dude, you fucking board said that no way. And I showed them the footage and yeah. then it was like, and I go, and if I'm the filmer and I'm board sighting this. And you guys are only board sliding this? Yeah. Why the fuck Step am I feeling like, you guys got to be like grinding this shit. Like, what's up with a Smith or a 50 50 or what? Like, yeah. Same thing to where it's like, oh, the crack's in the way. All right, I'll go fix the crack. Yeah. But this Wonder, sounds like it's, it's, it's a, the crack, a so. symptom of your personality a little bit. Like, you're a motivated guy, or kind of a driven guy, clearly. Well, you just want to kinda... keep skateboarding alive as much as possible. So yeah. it's like, how do you, how, what are you going to do for it? Some people don't think that way, though. Some like, people are just lazier in their mind. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? You can't, I mean, skate, you, you know, you want, you want skateboarding to give you all these things, but it's like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, skateboarding needs a lot of help. Yeah, a lot, and there's a lot of people out there waiting with their hands, like skateboard, like I'm doing this trick, like right. I did this. And you're just like, so yeah, congratulations. That's so really what? similar like, in like in comedy and acting and all that. It's it's amazing how much easier and cool and fruitful yeah life can be if you're not trying to be the star yeah and just be like I'll help the guy that wants to be the star and I'll be living a very similar life, but because I'm not the one trying to take 
yeah it's going to work out it's going to be moderately effortless well, i mean you're not effortless in the sense that you're not working but effortless in the fact that the opportunities are there go to a skate park see what the kids are like if there's garbage everywhere and everybody's kind of cold shoulder fucking kids are just it's you're just north like, hollywood you're, you're like this sucks <laughs> it does worst scene ever everybody's <laughs> we, skating with their headphones on and you're just like damn dude like skateboarding here is weird like yeah it loses it, the, it doesn't yeah. make sense you know yeah I it's just, know. It's have, have you have you a question I wanted to ask you was a comparison of the Washington skate scene to the California skate scene like com- some of the similarities and the differences yeah I think like in terms of culture or whatever with the with the scenes uh, I know Ed when Ed said when he moved down here he said everyone was trying to be pro yeah that he couldn't fuck with it too yeah. much ambition yeah. Yeah. yeah but you I mean you pay attention to whatever you want right it's one of those things where it's right. like cool go go be pro it's like all those kids that are trying to be pro and want to be pro they probably won't and it's gonna be a harsh reality. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like, stop trying. Stop trying to go pro. Stop trying to fucking get a free board. Stop trying. Like, it's just like, stop trying. Somebody will notice you. Yeah. If you're that good, you will get noticed. But I don't know. It's weird because, I mean, I get sponsor me tapes where it's like kids are rolling off a curb and just like barely learning how to ollie. And they're like, hey, can I get a board? Like, I think I might be a good fit for Element. I've only been skating for two weeks, but I've already learned this. And I'm just like, which I mean, I get it. That's like still. But I mean. You, you okay fast forward to that kid in four more years where he actually is pretty decent but it's like it's, it's bad you, you gotta you gotta you know it's like so i mean social media plays such a crazy part in it now to where yeah. it's like all these kids are too busy saying look at me look at me look at me and it's like we're trying to look we're like we're you know it's the same way to where like everybody's watching this content whatever it is you're watching like 30 kids skate and everybody's like that kid's the best and then you know over here, you'll see this kid, and you're like, that kid's fucking cool, though. Mm. That kid's like, he's got some, like, I don't know. I want to watch that kid. Mm. Like, this kid's killing it or whatever, but, like, this kid's like, I don't know. There's something about him. Yeah. And so, like, that, I mean, yeah. I mean, look at Tyson Peterson skating. He's not, he's not very, like, he is a, when he skateboards, it's so phenomenal, and he's so great. I mean, do you know who he is? I don't know who that is. Look him up, man. Tyson Peterson. He's a force, and he's such a humbled kid to where he's like, you look at him, and you're just like, you're not too sure, like, all right, who is this kid? What is he? He kind of dresses a little crazy. Like, he looks like the 70s is back. And then you say what's up to him, and he's just, like, the nicest kid. Yeah. And you're like, all right, this kid's cool. And then you watch him skate, and you're just like, holy, f- like, dude, how did how did you? Like, it, it's like a, you know, it's like an off-breed of Evan Smith where you're yeah. like, you, they're like, oh, we're at the spot. And you're looking around, and you're like, where, what spot? Where, what do you mean we're at the spot? And they're like, we're here. Look at this. Look at all this shit. And you're looking around, and you're like, Homie, it's a gravel pit yeah, with like, a curb. You're like, there's nothing here, and they're they're in their heads. They're just like, nah, dude, look, we can do this, and yeah, they start yeah, skating, yeah. and you're just like, wow, you can look at things so much. like, you know, it's the same way like when you drive by and you're looking out the window and you have your fingers and you're tech decking. Totally, you're man. Like, oh, there's, 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 like we're all doing that, and these guys are looking at some other shit. Yeah, like shit, like we're walking, like we all skate and stuff, and we're walking by shit, and these guys are like, look at this spot, and you're like, dude, like. I'm fucking lost. What do you mean? Look at this spot. I don't yeah. see. And then, then they'll do something. And you're just like, you're basically just Whoa. describing how to be a good person, man. Yeah. It's like, have a good perspective on what actually matters in life. And being a person that really wants everybody to notice them and, and hear them and affirm them. Yeah. It's backwards. It's like not a, you know, not to make it too, uh, whatever, but it, it's the concept of love versus selfishness, yeah. right? <laughs> like if, Look at me, and I want something, or I'm just a. I just want to hang out. I want to be part yeah. of things. It's more of a giving mentality. Right. Yeah. Well, gratitude too. When I was younger, my thing was always to go into a new skate park, especially Richland, yeah. when there was that stupid fucking rivalry or whatever. I um, don't even know what it was. Like, yeah, so and I was like, I was stupid. caught in the middle of it. Yeah, it was and I was so just stupid. like, I was so I didn't even understand it. But yeah, go yeah, ahead. But we would go to Richland, <laughs> and it would always be like it would be like going to another dojo. You know, yeah, skate yeah, the yeah. Best we can. We're skate your park better, and you can skate your park. Alex, so next douchey. time you show up, the first thing I want to say is be like, "Let's play skate." <laughs> Fuck yeah! If I beat you, you got to go home. You got to leave, bro. <laughs> I get that skateboard. No, me but, and Alex uh, joke that, about that was my mentality. Like you know, being young and having this like chip on your shoulder and ego or whatever. But yeah. now it's just like any park I go to, I want to have a session. Yeah, I want to meet some new people. Right. And Justin came into town. Uh, for like two days uh, a couple months ago yeah. and i was just like remember just have a good session we went to a skate park and we had just the most phenomenal session yeah. and just met great guys and that's what it's about and that's what it's about and it was such a better feeling than feeling like yeah i fucking showed them up because then it's negative blah, right. blah 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 but oh trust me i mean i stay away from skate parks around here just because it's like 
Dude, I went there's to the that attitude. Park, bro, yeah, that's, like, what the that's fuck? That's right down the street from my house, and I'm like, that's like that's my local park now. Yeah. So we, I went from like Richland to like that's my local park. That's what's yeah. closest to me. And this is where I have to go if I want to skate a park. So I don't go there because I'm just like, there's something off, man. I'm yeah. just like, these kids are not I don't know. It's just like that's what I was telling Nolan about because we're gonna skate while, when we when we finish it. We want to roll around a little bit, and I was I went and skated the Volcom Skate Park when my parents were down here. I just Mesa Park, the yeah Mesa Park, homie, not Volcom Park. The, oh Mesa Park, but it's yeah. it is, but all the it's Mesa, calls it's, it Mesa it's, it's Mesa Park. Okay, trust me, because everybody has their own little things here to where it's like, oh, you a Mesa kid. Oh, okay, yeah, Because yeah, those yeah. are Mesa kids, and yeah. then you're like, oh, you're fucking, you know, you're an Etnies kid. You're like, the, you know, oh, right, you, right. You, know, you, you stay in your, you know, you're you're that kid. Oh, they right. have all that. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's probably just a symptom of insecurity and in youth. You know what I mean? Like that's what's happening in skateboarding. There's a lot of kids, and there's a lot of insecurity, well, the best and then the you have tribalism. Because there's a lot of clips of pros filming at that skate park and just fucking Fuck ripping yeah. that shit, dude. Oh, Domo. You'll probably see Dom there. You'll probably see Ian there. Nigel might be there. It's like the same shit to where you don't know who you're going to see. Yeah. But somebody's there. And I don't know. I think it might be the kids there trying to get noticed by one of these other guys. But yeah. yeah. Like, you want to get snaked? Go to that park. I'll show, <laughs> oh, show you the meaning of getting I'm, snaked. Dude, I'll get snaked nah, by. I a don't fucking... get snaked there, which is kind of funny, but I'm like also over 200 pounds. So I'm like, and homie, you look like a man. I'm like, homie, be careful, man. <laughs> this dude. this train can't stop when it starts going. Like, yeah. Only thing stopping me is if I hit that fucking wall. But yeah. it's like, I don't know. It's like, I skate there and I'm like, I'm just like, I don't even give a fuck. Like, I'm like, yeah, I suck. I don't care anymore. Like, I it, once you get over the fact that you suck, yeah, yeah, and just like, cause I'm like, You're just having fun. I just look at yeah. the other homie and I'm like, hey, dude, fuck, dude, I can't. I gotta ollie up this euro gap right now. It's big. Fucking, let's do this. And like, you know, I just, I just look for somebody feet off. Like, let's ollie it, and then it's like, all right, let's 180 up. It. All right, let's kickflip. Let's yeah, show yeah, it yeah. Down. So it's just like one of those things where it's like, that's what I want. Yeah. Like, if I wanted to get really good there, yeah, I could get really good there. But at the same time, come back to Richland, dude. I can skate the shit out of that park because yeah. that's my park. Right. Exactly. Like, that's the shit. Like, I go back there and I do trick. Like, dude, I, I'll, I'll take a cut. Like, I, I took Grace in there and I did some things there. And he's just like, I didn't know you could do that. I, just, I, I mean, my go-to there is like the 180 fakie manual. Like, oh, on, shit. The, on the bump to Oh, that's and I'm sick. Like, and I'm like, it's, it's always been there, but... Yeah, I would be impressed if I but saw I, that. But I go to Mesa yeah, Park and I'm over here fucking just barely all in the Euro gap. I'm trying to make sure I don't clip. Right. And I'm just like I'm making up every excuse in the book. I'm like, oh, I didn't stretch today. Yeah. I don't stretch any fucking day either <laughs> no, way. I need to stretch so it's too. like, <laughs> you know. So it's yeah. Like, but I, I I don't know. I think as long as you're just there to have fun and yeah. get over the get over yourself. Yeah. Get over yourself. Just be like. Yeah, absolutely. If, if a kid is like you suck, be like I know, man. Like trust me, I know. Like, how are you been skating? Like, oh, yeah, you're good, man. I used to be like that, too. Just so you know, it all comes to an end. Yeah. Who knows? When you're my age, you might suck worse than me. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Absolutely be fucking true. careful. Or yeah. you might not even be skating. That's true. Yeah. I'm on, like, I don't know, 16, 17 years of skating now. So are, we're all there. We're all so 17 like, years. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, all right, I don't know. That's. I at least have the fucking knowledge not to tell somebody that they suck. Right. So, I think it's exactly. funny. We talk about th <laughs> there's always that built-in status at a park. Like, all right, so, like, I'll go to a park. I'll, I'll, I'll get snaked all day long. Yeah. And, like, by a five-year-old. I don't Anybody. <laughs> anybody can snake me. Fucking kick the kid. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm non-confrontational. I'll let anybody. I also don't care anymore. Like, go ahead, snake me. Whatever. Fucking have fun. But then uh, it's funny if you land a trick and all of a sudden – the fucking Red Sea parts, yeah. you know, and not at this part because they're all mega, but oh, yeah. but in like no <laughs> no ho, like you land any just anything, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, look at my back, yeah, yeah. it's like you douchebag. Well, now they're saying bye to you, <laughs> or saying what's up to you, yeah, too. You're like bro, yeah, what the fuck? yeah. It's, it's, it's just the more you show up, it's just I don't know, yeah. They, the kids down here, they they all need guidance and they don't know where to look, so yeah. But you do have scenes that are helping with it and shit like that, or not scenes, but shops, so, yeah. But. Just too hectic. It's too hectic. I don't, I don't understand how the industry is down here and why. So. You don't understand how? I don't. Yeah, it's just I'm like, man, it's like, I don't like skating down here. It's not that fun. Sure, but that's more culture because yeah. it is the perfect place to skate. Yeah, it's it's sunny kinda. and shit. Well, yeah, kinda. I mean, yeah. yeah. Or maybe <laughs> Barcelona. It's but. like it's kind of like oh, you give all yeah. It's like oh yeah, you could go skate. You know, but it's probably gonna take you four hours to get there. Yeah, like shit yeah. like that. That's where you're true. like, dude, it's like. Ugh. I live right next to my skate park. So I like literally skating distance has always been a dream. So yeah. I don't have to fuck with any traffic. Yeah. Which is just amazing. Just amazing. Fuck, I used to live right next to Richland Park, so I'd always just skate there. So it was like, Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I, I lived a block over. That's awesome. yeah. I lived a block from the bar, a block from the skate shop, and a block <sighs> from the skate park. I love that scene. I gotta say, Golden yeah. was so 
I would be, I'd watch those videos all the oh, time, yeah. bro. And I'd be like, <laughs> when you guys would come and there would secretly be that, well, fuck the Richland guys, but I would just be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I want to hang out. No, like, but, it, but it's funny because I don't even, like, that whole thing, man, because I knew you and I knew Julian, and we would go skate uh, Davis. Yeah. Because we, we would hit him up, and we'd be like, hey, we're going to go to the Davis Fire Rail. And this, I mean, this is even before Golden. This is, like, forever summer. Oh, shit. And shit like that. Yeah, this, this is, like, 2005, but... Hell. Uh, let me see. Oh, Mike. It's crackling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. good. Don't tip it too much. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, he's, he's trying to. He's trying. We're to gonna eat get a new fucking, one. He's trying to eat his mic. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no. So like, it was like we would skate with those guys anyway. So like, I don't. I mean, I don't know how that be for any of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I mean, even when you were coming here, I was like, it popped in my head. I was just like, oh yeah, there was that beef that one time of like, I don't even understand how. No, like, it, it was some miscommunication with it because. We were told that you guys came. We, this is what we were told. You guys came to Mid State checking Vito down for, for boards. <laughs> we're so all we were like, like who's going to come to a fucking 19 year old kid? Like, we're fucking. I kids. love legends. Yeah, I was like, I Vito legends. was the only one in there. And these four guys just walked in, just being assholes, just looking at the wall for their boards and shit. And, <laughs> just you know what I mean? Just tipping his drink yeah. over. Yeah. That's but funny. <laughs> needless to say, that all blew over. And just the relationship between yeah. Richland and Yakma was. Amazing! You could go to Richland and skate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's how I was like, you guys come here and it was just, it was phenomenal. I'm so, I, I love that. It's time. only skateboarding, man. It's yeah. not life or death. So Absolutely. It's one of those things where it's like, just look out for my shit, and I look out for yours. Yeah, so. for sure. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up with some easy skateboarding questions. Yeah. Like fun ones. They're like easy okay, questions. Okay. Do you want me? To, I have a serious one. Do you want me to do it first? Yeah, you, go. you Okay. Um, I wanna, I wanna ask, what do you think the spirit of skateboarding is? I kind of hate the way that's phrased. Or Evan what is Smith? Okay. <laughs> there Perfect. you go. Perfect. A guy like that, everything that that the it, attitude, the style. It's, you want to look at the most un I mean not unprofessional, underrated as far as like how far he goes. Like it's like what is I mean, kids only can see these guys on social media and contests when they but it's like meet him in person. Meet the guy in person and that's a skateboarder. That's like that is the dream skateboarder. Yeah. Like, you know, it's always like, I want to meet this guy. And it's always like, oh, don't meet your heroes, man. Like, sure. you don't know. Like, sure. Yeah. And it's true. Cause I mean, I've met a couple of guys where I'm just like, fuck, dude, this is, this, I'm not down. Right. I'm like, damn, I don't really like that guy as yeah. much. You know, like, Bums you I, out. I did. I, I met Dave Mustaine on a flight once, the lead singer of Megadeth, founder, you know, old Metallica mm -hmm. guy. I went, I was just like, hey, what's up? Like, you're Dave, right? He just blew me off. He's like, yeah, and blew me off. And I was just like, I was hyped to just say hi. And then I'm like, oh, I still juiced on him. I can't listen to Megadeth anymore. I was no say, way. I, yeah. I, like, I subconsciously would be like, oh, I don't want to hit skip. No way. Skip, skip. And, skip. Yeah. and I'm, I started thinking about it. I'm like, oh, it's because this dude kind of blew me off. But it's like a guy like Evan Smith who really loves skateboarding. Right. And, and another thing gives about, everything to it. Yeah. But there, there are a lot of guys out there. And I, I'm only talking, I, you know, there are a lot of guys out there. I'm only talking about the guys that I know, right. which is like a Evan, a Ray sure. Barbie, Grayson, right. shit mm -hmm. like that, where they really do take the time yeah. out of their day to fucking make sure that that one kid over there is fucking having a good time. I, I, saw, I saw Ray Barbie in L.A. on my way to work and I was in my fucking truck. Just such a oh my god, such an embarrassing moment. But I rolled down the window. I was like, Ray Barbie, yeah! And I threw up the, sh I threw up the shaka, and he looked at me like, "What the fuck?" And I just drove That's away because awesome. I was like, "That did not go out of the plan." I thought he'd be like, "Give me a Ray Barbie smile, maybe point." Yeah, he just, just, no. like, yeah. He, he just looked at me like. What? what? Maybe he thought he knew me or some shit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. That shit. You was caught funny. him off guard, dude. <laughs> yeah. But uh, going back to Evan Smith, the thing, I, another thing I like about Evan Smith, going back to his character as a person, there's clips of him in his rough edits or rough cuts where he's get he's getting in the way of people, like pedestrians and stuff are getting kicked out, and he's being so polite. Yeah. And just gracious, even though maybe that's not the right word, but just doing he, such a good job with. Um, the, there's a negative self Im image of skateboarding. Well, it's with it's how people, you know, look at skateboarding. They exactly. look at it this way, and it's like you have yeah. that fuckers. Guy. Like it's kind of like if this is our fucking ambassador, we're gonna be good. Yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. I had a girl throw fucking dog poop at me. I'm skating down the street. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I didn't do. I moved away for you, and you're throwing dog. We, shit. we, we came dog out with a promo with her bare hand. No, it was in a dog. Oh, uh, okay. We we came out with a promo video at the end of last year where Evan actually did a kickflip frontside wall ride on a piece of glass, like I a window. I saw that, bro. That shit was insane. You know, he broke it, right? He broke that window. Yeah, it like cracked, and he offered to pay for it. Yeah, he's just like, I'm sorry, and they were like getting kicked out. And he's like offering to pay for it. Yeah, and then when he landed it, they were just like, No, we're it's good, good job. They were just like, No way. Oh, so he didn't like have to, man. but he was like. 
you know, normally you, you hit something, you break it, you'd be like, fuck, let's get let's out go. of here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's, like, oh. He's like, fuck, I broke it. Like, All right. I still want to get this trick, but like, can I pay you for it? Like, right. Can I pay you for the window that I broke while I was doing my skateboard trick? So. Yeah. Let's start at WWED. What would Evan do? He yeah. sounds like they, they a go. goddamn I mean, scene. <laughs> he is. Man. Oh, my God. He's I want so him to be my mentor. Good, dude, dude you, when you meet him, you're going just... to. I, uh, I, I busted my board two days ago, bought a deck so that we could skate down here. I was at this small shop in LA, in uh, Hollywood, and they, I was like, I need Which an one, eight. Brooklyn it's called LA Skate. It's yeah, like secondhand yeah, product, LA right? Yep. And he brings out, I'm like, I'm looking for LA these. Daves. Yeah. LA Daves. That guy's cool. Uh, so I was like, I need an eight. He brings down a hand, like four eights in, and then one of them was an Evan element. I was like, I'm doing, I'm going to element tomorrow. I bought that one. So I have an Evan in my trunk right now. That's dope. Dude. It's cosmic. On an eight inch baby dick board. Let's get back to, uh, you're a Gemini. No, I'm just checking. <laughs> How many tricks? <laughs> oh, fuck none now. Uh, uh, what part did or what part do you, uh, get hyped on? Like w- if you had to go to a go-to favorite part and I know favorite questions are kind of annoying. What's your favorite yeah. food, all that shit. But if you had a part that like used to light you up where it's like, that was like, fuck man, that would always fire me up. Or now do you have one? Oh man. I, I mean, it just, I mean, it's going to go back to my childhood. Everything nowadays yeah. I'm just so neutral on to where I'm just like, Oh, it's just, it's not tainted, but it's just there's no memories connected it's to it because there's right. so much stuff that I mean you're yeah. you're talking I don't know ten video parts just came out this last weekend yeah and you have also you, you have no, your team like you you're no like idea. I like that like, guy's part but it's just I don't know I'd probably go but I mean I enjoyed all the tent city videos just because I could relate to them and it was like it's just I like I liked all that sh- I don't know I I I I can I I like the video part filming but I also like all those on videos where they document I like the yeah. documentaries of like hey this guy was doing this and this and. Yeah. This is the spot, and they talk about it. But I mean, fuck if you were gonna go skate, like, do you? I don't know if you're like me. Then it's like I'll like, watch a video before I go skate. And I yeah, used to. For me, it was like PJ's anymore, part because I'm just like I'm hyped to just go skate nowadays. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. Like, when you were younger, you didn't have one. I, I did. I mean, it was. I'll answer the question real fuck, quick. I mean, PJ it de- depends on the year. Depends on the year. Yeah. 2005. Yeah, right. Came out. Okay. Every day after school, we watched Yeah, yeah right for fuck three yeah, months man. straight, and we'd go skate a fucking king trail or a five stair king trail over a bush. So you had to gap over the king trail and over the bush Damn. at the park. And it was like, okay, we would watch, yeah, right, skate down the bike path and do that. That's sick. So it's like, okay, that was when that came out. But it's like, I mean, this is skateboarding that time. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. Dying to Live came out, oh my God. I had it on VHS. I remember being in my friend's basement. Yeah. And we just watched it, and it was just like you're shaking. It like, was a different time back you're then. You're just shaking, and you're just because it was skateboarding wasn't coming out. As I mean, it was. Like you didn't have every months. video. Yeah. You had the one video you got, yeah. like for your birthday. Well, you got like, the re. I got the reason. Yeah. It was just yeah. over, like over and over. I had second and none. Black label, label kills. And yeah. My other homie had sorry, so I'm like, okay, cool. Oof, I don't need sorry. to buy sorry because you have it. Oh my god. So I'll buy this, and then the other homie has. This. So then it was like, I mean, we got into like copying VHSs, and it's like, did I have like bootleg copies of fucking. Uh, uh, cash money vagrant and like fucking chomp on this yeah so it's like those videos are i mean i don't know i don't have a favorite i just yeah. it's just it's like what era like during that time if i was hyped on it i'd I, yeah it's the same thing with everything it's not the best question well it's like it, it's like everything like you know music but too. i like your answer you gave me good info <laughs> to if, a shitty if you're question really, if you're really into something you're gonna be like it's like yeah like right now i've been like i saw this band this last summer ghost because they opened for iron maiden Saw them back in July. I actually saw them twice. I followed them. Then I followed them in Iron. So you're a metal guy. Yeah, followed them and fuck my Halloween costume was the lead singer of Ghost. And then for the, I don't know the last five months, everything I've been playing has all been Ghost. Yeah, like all fucking Ghost. Everything nonstop. I yeah. have two vinyls now and all this shit. And I'm That's just, awesome. I'm all about it, but it's like I went full on into it. Yeah. And then once I find something else, I'm gonna be full on into that. But I don't forget that. So it's like yeah. If I mean, if you go through my life, you could be like, okay, like what videos came? If you like, if you, if you told me the year these videos came out, I could probably tell you what tricks we were doing at that time and where we were skating. Mm-hmm. That's Shit so like true. That. That's, That's awesome. Absolutely true. Because it's like, okay, chomp on this. Okay, the fucking Christ the King fourteen stair. I remember I was wanting to board slide it because chomp on this came out, and they're faking it. But I thought I could board slide it, and I'm like. I don't know, but then we were making these stupid skits about it. But then I got the confidence to like maybe try it. So I a, a fourteen, yeah, and I would just go there and I'd look at it, look at it, and, look, and it's just like, but it was like that's when Chomp on this was coming out. Right, so it's right, like, right. You when did you start skating? What year ish? Ish. I started two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. So we all started we all, skating like, around Alabama. the same time. We're all at seven. You're not from Alabama. Yeah, I nice, know. nice. I still have the scars. You bomb. do got a good Alabama like style to you that I like, uh, like a down <laughs> home back country style. woods. Yeah, uh, just bombing to like. Just remember trying to bomb the biggest hill and 
Yeah. Everybody still looks at my scars on my back and they go, did you get beat as a kid? I'm like, no, it's, oh, I fell once yeah. and I just have the road rash Ooh. that just goes. That's Bro, we would, we would bomb hills and try cities. Yeah. I hate bombing hills, but I bombed hills with you guys one no time or the guys, whoever were there. The rest almost those dying, guys, yeah. dude. We Rocks were, exploding yeah. from how fast you're going. Cars going 40 miles on each side. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah. Jake, Terrifying. one of the gnarliest bails Jake ever – because Jake doesn't really go big, like he's like a manual, no, comp- like he's good, but you mean, he stays you mean, are you low. Are talking about impact? when he got towed in and lost his sense of smell? So okay, that <laughs> that was, <laughs> which is online by the way. YouTube I stand corrected. Shit. That's the gnarliest thing. But the, but, <laughs> dude, that's fucked. That video is fucked up. It's really dark if you watch it because yeah. it's like it's that like security cam yeah. footage and it's glitchy, and then you just see Jake, f- one frame on the board, next frame in the air, next frame completely limp on the on ground, the ground. Yeah. and then. M- multiple shitty frames of people running in. Yeah. Ugh. It makes you a little sick to your stomach. But anyways, one time Jake, oh my God, he tried to nose manual bomb a hill. Oh what God. He was bombing a hill nose manual. And, and of course he got to like n- about the bottom and was going way too fast and, and ate it exactly how you think you'd eat yeah, it. You fall forward. Fucking head forward. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was so gnarly. You're too dude. far forward. I mean, your nose manual. It was you have so to leave gnarly. Forward. We were and watching. Then, yeah. We're like, <laughs> wow, I can't believe he even wants to do this. Like, I would jump off a of shit. He would never jump off a of shit, but he's going to nose manual bomb <laughs> a hill? Like, what? Your priorities are wrong, man. That is so funny. Yeah, you're a little confused. Oh. That's funny. There was a question I was going to ask right before that. Whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's going to fight out there. <laughs> I'm trying to think who that is. Yeah. Um, what? I think I think I got all my questions. What up, John? This happened last time too. There was like one question I really wanted to ask, and then I, <laughs> I got up, stuck buddy? on it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna think of like a good question right when we're done. Uh, Matt, this has been awesome, man. Yeah, yeah dude. Thanks. For I think us that's down. a good time, we, man. We were hoping we didn't know because we know yeah. your schedule's crazy and we haven't talked to you in a while. Oh, it's but just, just show. Like, it's just one of those things where you just got to show up because if you would have been like, "Hey, is today good?" I would have. I would probably said, "Nah, man. I'm sure. fucking swamped." Yeah, yeah. But it's just like just show up. Yeah. Here it is. Like we'll just see how it goes. Make like, it happen. Yeah. You're setting up BAM boards. Yeah, fucking BAM completes, man. They're selling those still by the thousand for, for display. No, dude, people, I mean, you would be surprised at how many band boards we've sell, we can sell still. And Damn. it's like, because it's like, I mean, you, yeah, kids, yeah, kids still like it. Kids still eat it's that a brand. shit up. It's a yeah. Like, brand. He still fucking eats it up, man. So it's like, why not? So, yeah. He's getting a fucking pro shoe again. Jesus. So it's like, <laughs> and it'll sell. Dude, talk, dude, hey, come on. Like, you want to talk about the dream right there? He, he's having a second chance at a fucking another career. A pro career? Like, yeah. He went pro, became super famous, TV shows on MTV. Yeah. Went the fucking crazy r- route, rehabbed everything else, and now coming back as a professional skateboarder and pro shoe. And, and, yeah. And the scene is still so accepting of you because when you went to the MTV side, everybody was like, fuck you, fuck you talking shit. Yeah. So it's like, but now that you're back, everybody's accepting you again. So it's like, right. You just won. You won. Like, I was going to say, you, you can't lose. You won your life. Like, yeah. You're good. You, so. There's no way you can lose. That's amazing. I, I do have one question. I don't think I asked it. Do people say Grom at all down here? Oh, yeah. Because we had that. We, he, yeah. we were like, does anyone use that anymore? It, like, you don't know if you've run. Because I haven't been in skate culture for probably like six years. Yeah. You know, you're knee deep in it when you're skating. And then all of a sudden you just do other stuff. You just skate, but you don't care about. And I was like, do people still say words I say? You know what I mean? <laughs> Every day or two I hear Grom. Oh, and really? Like, okay. And it's okay, like, good. thank God. <laughs> and, you're, and you're talking people as far as like. What was that word? Let's bookend it. What was that word I didn't know in the beginning? Focus. Focus. Focus, focus Grom. I didn't yeah, know that. Focus your board. I focus that Grom's board. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> focus that redheaded Grom's board for this King of the Road yeah. points. That's a perfect way to end it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, people still say it a lot. It's like you hear it here and you hear it in Florida. Yeah. Okay. Between those two, it's like those, those are the only real places I hear it. And it's like, and I'm talking like the heart and soul of Orange County is where you hear it. Yeah. Like, like right Weird. here. Weird. the Mesa, Huntington, that's where you hear that shit. And that's crazy. Florida, you hear it kind of. Near Tampa. I mean, not so much Tampa. I mean, yeah, Tampa, I guess. So. Yeah. But we could have got into more about you and your life, but hey, maybe another time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll come bombard you another time and give you a break from setting up band boards. Yeah, I'll be do- I'll be done with the band boards hopefully today. And <laughs> hopefully next year. Actually, and never we'll come mind back. because I got eight hundred more to make. Fuck. What? Yeah. Seriously, you have eight hundred more to yeah. make. We can help you out. We got nothing to do. Well, well, these are screening them, so. Oh, okay. 
we're doing a hundred completes and then we're doing. Dude, let us go get you a beer. Oh. And then we'll help you out. You want we a beer? Ha- we have nothing I, to I do, man. Beer. I have beer. We, dude, come on. We what stock, kind of beer do you drink? We stock. I mean, everything. Everything? I just, okay. I mean, go to is like Bud. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's Bud what guy. I I was Good gonna, for you, okay. man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It just all depends. Don't, don't Google don't, how bad that is for you. I don't, I don't go. I don't do the light beers. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, we're talking to a real man from Alabama, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and, and gentlemen. Washington State, too. Alabama, man. That's all I never I remember the question. Uh, do you do you know Anvil? Do you remember Anvil, the metal, the old '80s yeah, metal band? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. It's not a good question. I was just Dude, do you, you remember that, that? Every question, just ask the fucking question and believe in yourself. <laughs> I'm too self conscious. No man, um, I, I listen to all. Do you remember that, that band? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. I just re- I saw I saw a documentary of them a while ago. My buddy got us uh, tickets to El Corazon yeah. show. We saw Anvil's one of the most fun shows of my life. Yeah. Um, and I remember, like, they in the documentary, they painted themselves as, like, kind of the godfather of 80s metal. Yeah. Is that an exaggeration, or is that accurate? <laughs> you can't claim anything. Nobody can claim anything. Fair enough. Like, don't claim shit. That's the word. The, the last thing you want to do is claim something. Because yeah. Because there's going to be somebody on the other side. Yeah. Going, like, I have video. This You didn't do that. Or right. Or fucking whatever it is. I'm the godfather of frontside clips, but, yeah. I mean, hey, you know, I don't claim <laughs> shit. <laughs> don't talk to Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> don't ever talk to Reynolds uh, or secretly. any of those other guys. But even still, Reynolds is going to go, I'm not the godfather. There no. was this guy. Right. Yeah. Mullen. You talk to the next guy, and he's going, no, I saw it from this guy. I think so the only godfather, not Mullen. the only, but Mullen could probably say he's the godfather of some shit. Yeah. But Mullen's the type of guy who wouldn't say And he wouldn't. That's the irony. Yeah. yeah. No, I, speaking of like videos I was obsessed with, but I watched, yeah. I, that's how I learned frontside flips was slow mowing the birdhouse part. The, you the didn't end watch part. the first step? <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! No, but I did the same thing. I would watch. You'd watch people. The uh, the front side flip over the rail in the end. Yeah. That I think the, the last trick. The first Tony Hawk video. Oh my god! I broke. Uh, I broke the tape. <laughs> you know that trick, the one yeah. that everybody knows. Yeah. I I broke the tape because I rewound and slow mowed that front side flip so many times. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Trying to front side flip on my carpet in my bedroom. Because it's raining shit. outside. That makes so much sense. He has great frontside flips. Yeah, but on the carpet where you're not moving is pretty fucking tough. But carpet, that's what I'm saying. It makes saying. it, sti- it, makes it stick too exactly. hard. Exactly. So you so have you to can, pop it. If you can learn it on that, I that's guess. That's what we had to because it was always talking, raining. You're talking credit cards. So. Yo, okay. Oh, yeah, it was God, rough. Does he, know, does he know what credit card is? Do you know what credit oh, card yeah, is? Oh, yeah, man. Right <laughs> up in the right I up in the gooch. I credit myself on the Davis 5 rail. That was the first time and only time I ever got credit carded. But because I board slid, it took my front foot off and my back was still on, shot it up. Did you see the clip recently? I think it's on Metro Skateboarding. I don't know if you follow them on Instagram. Oh, the guy down fucking, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about, on Carlsbad Gap. Yeah. Old footage of the kid. Oh, no, no, no. This, guy, this guy credit cards himself on a rail with, with the, board. the board. Hold up. Let me, so what yeah, the tr- watch this. No watch way. This, buddy. this next try here. Oh, no. Or it's this. a weird credit card. Or Primo. Oh. Primo cards himself. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, dude. <laughs> he wasn't gonna rack. That's that such a bummer. Just, yeah, that is such like, a bummer. It's like I'm gonna skate this rail. I'm not gonna sack my nuts, dude. Yeah. Mike, and then your board gets in there to where your feet can't touch. So, all right, N- yeah, gnarliest exactly. bail I've seen. Well, it wasn't. That's the one, uh, Jake, with Mike Patterson. Do you remember when he? Um, yeah, tore his butthole open. Tore his the gooch. And yeah, kind of the anus a little yeah. bit. He landed on the bottom. Do you remember at Central, uh, the, the university or whatever? Do you remember the long? Ellensburg rail, Ellensburg black rail at Central is kinked at the bottom. Mm-hmm. It was like a long eight. Anyways, it's never one skated there. I know, really? I, yeah, yeah. yeah. We drive wow. past the colleges. Holy shit! There's it was a bunch it of was cool. There. But he he jumped down that and he basically landed with all of his power and momentum on the bottom of the kink edge on oh. his fucking between the nuts and the ass. And ripped it open. But he had to go to the hospital, stitched up. <laughs> but he won a contest, won a thousand dollars for Gnarly's Bail. Oh, no, yeah. That's right. And Jake filmed it, and he didn't give Jake anything. Oh, what, Jake. What was that for? Jake's was always for getting the, fucking, the ass uh, out of it. All City Showdown, or what was it for? Was it All City? Probably. Uh, no, no, because that was Ellen's. King of the Road, maybe. Nah. Uh, no, I think it was like an online contest. Yeah, maybe. <gasps> that's what it was. But whenever he's in All City Showdown, him and his team always win. Yeah, I think they're no, Patterson. I, yeah, I, did you I've ever see him. that kid around? Yeah, I, we did an event with uh, Sasha Daly up there at Brooklyn Projects. And Cookie was there, and they, they all skate with Mike. So Where at? Brooklyn Projects, L.A. That's okay. on Melrose so, yeah. Avenue. Okay. A little mini ramp in the back or whatever. So he was there skating. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, that kid's sick. That's the that's the type of kid you skate next to, and you go, yeah, I'm never going to be pro. Like, you're <laughs> you're young. You're, like, 18. You have hopes. And then you see him, and you're like, like got it. Got oh, it. Fuck yeah, I see dude. what it is. He's doing and dark slides and shit on rails or whatever. <laughs> yeah. He was just magical. He just all had right. a magical power over skate, over the board to make it do whatever he wanted it to do. 
yeah, dude. He was very domineering over that skateboard. Matt, last, last, we're, last we're questions? Last qu- Man, I had another question, but we can't. <laughs> My anvil like, question was the one. I'm glad I just remembered we're it. We're going to end on a metal question? I, yeah. Well, I, mean, we well, I already can't. did. I'm just proud that I remembered it. <laughs> we already did. You just <laughs> cut. <laughs> you cut, man. Just cut this shit off. We already like, ended. Your mic's we, actually disconnected <laughs> oh, right wow, now. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> Fuck it. Thanks for being Dude. on, man. Yeah, no worries, Matt, guys. Thank right, you cool. so much, man. Hell yeah. This has been a Potaholics Comedy Network presentation. Potaholics.com.